a fly flying around. Fabulous. That's what I don't need. All right. Uh, today we are going to do, I'm going to show you everything I bought during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I have them separated out pretty much per order that I did. I did eight total. It's the best, or not the best, but one of the biggest hauls I've done during the 21 Days of Beauty, probably in the past two years, because it's kind of sucked here and there. But actually, some new brands to me, things like that. Hello, Miss Laura. And we're just going to roll with it, and I'm going to put some of it on, and we're going to play. If you're new here, this usually goes about three-hour show, just so you know. So grab a cocktail, grab your smokes, <laughs> notebook and a pen, you want to take notes, and we're going to play. Well, Laura's all excited. Can't wait to see the goodies. I talked up Carmen, Laura, by the way. I was Lily. Hey, Miss Blue Lily. I was trying to upload a damn picture to Instagram, and I happened to catch her comment, so we're good there. I'm going to grab a foundation brush here. I do have a foundation. I have it on, but I don't know how much of it's actually left on my face after this. That's my dunce brush. Got new contacts in. Say, ooh. Okay. Well, in the blue, well, maybe you can't see. It did grab a little better the other day. I filled in the my big old gap here with the gray with the dark blue from the punky color kind of grabbed we'll see all right where is my rent just drinking some iced tea ow stab myself oh god sure my eyebrows look crazy they always do mr fly go away one of the kitty cats gonna tackle you <laughs> Okay. Ready to rock and roll? I am. Well, we'll smoke somewhere in between. <laughs> All right. Uh, this order, I never even intended on doing an order on the first day of the sale. But shit happens. All right. Yeah, that was the first day. Okay. I uh, picked up a medium Z palette. It's an Ulta like you felt. It was on sale for like eleven dollars, something like that. This is the foundation we're gonna put on. I grabbed that. The only reason I did this order was I think Clinique was the thing on sale the day. This was like thirteen dollars and fifty cents, and I really wanted to get the free Tula so polished exfoliating sugar scrub because I just finished mine up. This is for like twenty six dollars alone. So I bought the Clinique. And the Z palette, and that brought me to like the $25, you know, to get free shit or whatever the hell it was. I got a free It Confidence in a gel lotion. How big is that? Well, that's pretty good size. I did try using the sponge that was in the Clinique. And then a uh, free Milani highly rated 10 in 1 mascara. Sample. So that was, yeah, the day one order. So I literally only put, placed the order, which I could always use another Z palette, so that's not a, you know, thing. But I wanted the free skin care. All right, so the Z palette can stay down here. I know that much. Skin care has to go back upstairs. And I want to try this. I tried this foundation earlier, and that was weird. I'm sorry, my eyes are... We're going to have contacts in. We're rubbing the eyes. You don't like the Tula sugar scrub, honey? What's wrong? Why don't you like it? It just melts almost instantly in your hands when you go to put it on. I love it. I have the pumpkin one, too. I have the Kate Somerville, too. I have so many. All right. I picked up this. And I laughed when I picked up the shade. It says... This is the Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder Oil Free. I guess it's shade 18 Stay Cream. Yeah, 18 Stay Cream VF. Mm. 
Yeah, you just put a little, you only need a little bit, honey. Like, you know, like a, a nickel, a quarter's worth. Just And I mix mine sometimes with, um, like, my second step in the cleanser. Like, I do my, the bomb or the oil first to get all the shit off. And the second cleanse, I put that, and I'll mix that with another cleanser. And just put it all over and rinses right off. So this is the foundation here. I mean, what, even when I opened it quickly, I go, this ain't going to match. <laughs> but, so of course, today I said, let me pull this sucker out and see if it kind of matches. And it actually does. I can even use it just as a finishing powder. Weird thing, though. Now, I did have on a sunscreen that was one of, like, the many samples, so I hadn't used it before. It was, like, one of the La, Ro eh, La Roche-Posay ones. And I had put that shit on, like, over an hour before. And it was still, like, kind of tacky. And I just had the sponge upstairs, so I was using the sponge to try to put this on. It gave this hard pan. Gotta come down here. If you ever have hard pan, just take a piece of scotch tape. <laughs> Wherever you see that it's like kind of hard paint, I've gotten it all off here basically. But you just press it over wherever your little hard pan action is and it'll pull it right off onto the tape and kind of leave the rest of the product. But I figured maybe it went hard pan on me or was going hard pan because then I realized that that sunscreen was so sticky and then I was stupidly putting it back in here. So that's why I want to try this with a brush right now while I have you ladies. This does kick up quite a bit of product. Like I said, I did put some on earlier. I could probably just use it more as like a setting powder. This is kind of a mess. Really, me, I spent like $25 to get something for free for $25 because I'm nuts like that. I took a nap and everything, so I know all this base is probably off. The other shit, we're just going to go through it and then we'll smash it on my face after. But since I got this out, I just want to... <laughs> Look somewhat one shade. I know I don't blow my makeup, but I had to. Won't be useful cleaning it again anyway. Give it. Give it. Oh, oh, what I miss? What I miss? It happens with just random shadows, powders. It can always happen. I do like their cream um, foundations, Clinique. Get dive bombed here. This is gonna, oh, this is gonna be fun. Mm. And I don't have a nervous breakdown. It'll be a miracle. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next day or whatever. I don't know. Which day. I just know like order one, two, three. Okay. Ulta screwed up, and I'd gotten give me my address here. <laughs> Where you guys are showing up at my door. Hey, B, what's up? <laughs> okay. One of the little shit. Well, just show up. <laughs> One of the little mailers. Now, in this order, I had placed two of the patchology. These little foot peel things. Love these. I'd ordered those two. And then, don't forget, they were doing other points during it. So I had five times points on NYX. So I picked up this whole jumbo kit here. Because recently I just picked up one of the purple shades. So these were all new. So even when I saw the bag, I was just like, what the hell's in here? And it was only the NYX. And I was like, where are my foot peels? Well, on the thing, it said all three items are in that bag. And I was like, you couldn't fit all three items in that bag. I buy these all the time. I know how big they are. <laughs> I probably even had a box upstairs. So I immediately called customer service. And I was like, you can see it was literally just delivered three minutes ago. <laughs> I'm like, I can tell you right now, you could not fit all three of these thick items into this bag. Because you can't. It's impossible. You are not fitting these in the bag. The guy was really cool. No problem. By the time I was off the phone with him, he already had the order through and they showed up. Because luckily I wasn't doing this video, obviously, until now, until everything came in. All right, so makeup's staying up here. Foot peels will go. Oh, I 
gone. Yeah, so that was order number. Yeah, it was technically order number two. <laughs> but I ended up with two different bags because they couldn't fit it all. Yeah, but that, see, this is how rack points. This was 20 bucks at five points. Got to get those points because I wasn't using points on that order. All right. Then we go into order number... This is two. I don't know. This order had... You're going to love this. All right. Look at the boxes. Yeah. This is the stuff I want to play with. Well, there's a lot of stuff here I want to play with. <laughs> Hold up. And we will be using these in regular videos since live doesn't necessarily look like on my regular camera. Yeah. Okay. This one, I picked up two of the Nabla Skin Bronzing shades. Because I already had two of the and a blush topper, so now I wanted the bronzer. Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder. Yeah. I kind of picked up two of the deepest shades because I'm like, with online, you can't tell anyway. So this one is Soft Revenge. And this one is Dune. Yeah, you can see there's different. This is, this, I don't know if it's pulling orange on screen, but it's not orange. But grab those two. These are normally, what, $24 a pop. So they were 12 and then I picked up two more of the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders. So I picked up Lola. Lola used to be my German Shepherd. And Independence. So let's put this here. I'll probably do regular swatch videos on an actual video so you can see the swatches. So I grabbed those four. <clears throat> this was a total, I had no idea. The Ulta Precision Foundation Brush number 12. I bought two of them. Because they were down to $8. See, when stuff's like in half price, that's when I buy two. Because I just figure two for the price of one. So I could tell that this had this style of brush head to it. Where's my... Ah, uh, where's it? Come on, I just washed them all. Where's the real techniques? <laughs> wow, my brush is a mess. What the hell did I get all of these brushes? Got Delium Tools, Real Techniques, <laughs> and then these. So I thought these were going to be as big as, say, the Delium Tools. As you can see, it's not. <laughs> these are my foundation. But this... Yeah. I'm sure I could use it for something of even tapping on highlighter or whatever, but I had to wash these. So you can't use these till you wash them. So that's going to go in the bag with, bring it upstairs. <laughs> going to have a hell of a mess on the floor. Then these are just the boxes they came in. My kitty cat. Yeah, so this, it says I used 1,000 points, which is $50. Like I said, it came to $128 retail. I paid $10.50 for all that, which not bad. Yeah, I paid $10.50. I saved 92% on that order. But these are, you know, expensive little suckers. <laughs> yeah, another bag down there. All right, then we went into uh, probably this day, I'm gonna guess. Oh my god, Ziploc bag. This says order number six, so I'm just gonna roll it. Again, NYX, five times points. So this is called the Magic Marker Netflix Sex Education. I was like, okay. It's a color palette, so it has pressed pigments. But bright and bold. Just the way I like it. I'll say this was like seven dollars. Look at that. Next seven bucks. Then I grabbed two of the Urban Decay. 
the what the hell are they called 24 7 something or just eyeshadow sticks eyeshadow sticks chaos my blue and pop off i don't think you'll see it pop off's like a um rose gold and that's chaos next to where's the real chaos <laughs> I know I have it. It's in here somewhere. I think this is chaos. So, the little slim pencil. This is more saturated. That looks really splotchy on my hand. I don't know why. So that was all I grabbed with this order. I just wanted the Urban Decay pencils. So I grabbed that. Like I said, of you know, seven bucks. Make some more points. <laughs> yeah, so that order I paid like $33 for. Then we went into... It's got to be Jacqueline. I bought me some Jacqueline Hill highlighters. Yes, orders four and five. Okay, another one that um, woke up in the, I tried to stay up till one o'clock that morning. Just didn't happen. I was just hoping I, you know, I can get what I want. So, wake up, you know, seven in the morning. I go on, and the only thing really available was the big highlighters. They're normally twenty nine for fourteen fifty, and I was like, where the hell are the blush palettes? And the little mini highlighters. And for some reason, they weren't in there. Now, don't forget, this stuff starts at like 1 o'clock in the morning. So I just went, well, you know, better than nothing. So I, that's got to be the first order I did. Wait, 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 wait. I do this? Yeah. So I was like, well, screw it. So I just grabbed two of them. At $14.50, it was $29. So I grabbed two of the bigger highlighters. Hopefully the boxes are empty. I don't know why. These boxes are huge, by the way. Her packaging is massive. Just like ridiculously massive. But these boxes are huge. So in that order, I did get only these two. <laughs> Holy shit. Took a while to get there now, didn't it? This is just the highlighter and awestruck. This is the one with the gold packaging. It's heavy. Don't get me wrong. You are getting, what, five grams of product? But the packaging is just ridiculously heavy for no reason. But these are very pretty. They feel very soft, smooth. And then this one is mesmerized. Because I've never tried, I have to say, buy any of her lipsticks or any of that. So it was weird. Then I was probably at work. And then Beauty Deals BFF happened to probably throw up one of the things. And it goes, all of a sudden the blushes were in there and the little mini. I was like, what the hell is going on? So when I came home, <laughs> sure as hell the blushes were now in there. So now the blushes have this black packaging. Again, it weighs, if I threw this at your head, it would knock you out. It's pretty damn heavy. It's ridiculously heavy. And here you're getting uh, the blush is four grams, the bronzer's five. So I brought, bought the one that is this bronze and blushing duo. Well, this one has B Rouge and Espresso Shot. So, mm -hmm. That would be the B Rouge, and that would be the Espresso Shot. And then this one is Stay Rosy and Yummy Talk. Ow! Okay, the fucking packaging just bit me from behind. So that's the Toffee, or the Stay Rosy, and the Yummy Toffee. So I know how dark or light. And these do are a pain in the ass because it has that letter J, so they're not going to lay flat. 
But they're ridiculously heavy. Just ridiculously heavy. And then I did grab a mini. I would have just grabbed two of the minis and one of the big ones because I did get three shades that I wanted. The little mini one is called Iced. So I basically got a pink, a gold, and then iced, like a white. <laughs> so it's like three shades that work on me, which is perfect. And again, those, and then I was missing, it was funny, when this order showed up, I was missing one of the blush bronzer things. I was like, where the hell is this? I'm like, I know I ordered two. And I called the guy and he's like, oh honey, that shipped separately. I was like, oh, I missed that in the email. My bad, sorry. <laughs> Okay, that's just empty boxes. So that's the Jacqueline stuff. Nice stuff. We're going to play with that, though, too. All right. Uh, next order. This is a big bastard, too. Now, this I did. I used points on this one, too, I think. But I bought a lot of doubles. I just don't have all the doubles down here. Because this is order number seven. This one I bought as gifts. Why the hell not? All right, this price. Uh, free gift. Lorac Tantalizer. I used to use this all the time back in the day. They just changed the packaging. Nice tan stuff. Then we have, let's see here. We got some Beauty Bakery. This was all on sale. So we got the Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar face palette. The Lemon Bar. Hello, Indie Blue. Hello, Indie Blue. Yes, it is. Don't eat my wires, you little shit. And Queen of Tarts. So these, I think I bought definitely two of these. Definitely two of these. So I bought a lot of bronzers and blushes, didn't I? And don't forget, all this crap was half off. Uh, Beauty Bakery, because I bought whatever product, gave you a free lip gloss. Cool, whatever. Now, I had already bought this, and then I found this in Marshalls. But this was only $15 through Ulta. And in Marshall's TJ Maxx, it's like $12.99. But I already know where I'm gifting this to, so my girlfriend Veronica will love this. But that's um, the Lime Crime Aura palette. Very nice. Like I, said, I, already, I forgot that I had it in the order. Okay, so then we got the new Lorac. Lorac-y Marikai. Beats the shit out of me. It's this one. <laughs> I did buy two of these. I bought two of all of the rock. But they're gifts. One, one for me, one for a gift. Just a big neutral palette. Uh, yeah. Matte shimmer, matte shimmer, matte shimmer. Then I picked up, because I already had the Soleil palette. Which is this one here. Oh, where's the other card I was looking for? Other just neutral palette. <laughs> there's a picture on my um, Instagram if you want to see it. And this is the Noir. For some reason, they put the, you know, names on there. There you go. Got that, 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 and that. That was all for the Lorac. I gotta keep the Lorac palette because it has the little key in here. Because these do, in case you don't know this, um, you could pop these shadows out of all of these. Do you see how this pulls up? See the little holes? You can depot these in like seconds. <laughs> but in the packaging, I have one probably over in my. Let's hope I don't drop it on the floor because the kitty cat's underneath me and she's going to grab a hold of that key if she finds it. It's right inside this little black piece here. It has a little point to it and then you just pop out the shadows. And then put them all in one big ass palette. <laughs> ah, Miss Blue. Let me use this one the way. Oh my God, my back is killing me. I got the shit kicked out of me. My massage. Indie Blue. Do I use points or anything on this one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I use... Oh, I forgot another thing in here. Uh, I don't know. I got that. Got the Lime Crime. 
Little Rock, Beauty Bakery, Beauty Bakery, Beauty Bakery, Little Rock. But yeah, okay. That was all of that order. Like I said, it's already owned Soleil, but I bought two of the other ones. Whatever. <laughs> Last order. Yay. I'm going to have a smoke. I just saw a goddamn purple and I bought it. You know, I just can't help myself on stupid shit sometimes. Especially when you save money on all the other shit. You know, why not? Uh, totally 2000s purple platforms. Iggy XBH Cosmetics. Totally plastic. So this is the outside of it. With the cardboard packaging. This is like $17.99. I haven't touched it yet. I have no idea if it's any good. It has fun packaging there. And it's all got little like butterflies going through it. Little blues just that might be down there purring. But it was cute. Come on. I had to. Had to. Uh, then I picked up. I actually didn't own this. Norvina palette by ABH. So it was $22.50. Your brushes. <laughs> there. I'm going to put it back in though. I hate to throw out the brush, but their brushes are hit or miss. I just didn't have this in my collection, so. And I like a purple palette. Wait, that blue. I'm going to run you over with the table here. And then the only other thing I bought that day was uh, L'Occitane. The Creme Ultra Rich Body Cream. This thing here. This was normally like $44. It was $22. Giving it to Mom for Christmas. No, I just gave her a birthday. I just gave her the phone. And that, my friends, was all of it. <laughs> Eight orders. But stuff I haven't tried. Stuff I needed. I need it, but wanted it. <laughs> all right, let me move some of this crap out. Because now I have makeup everywhere in front of me. Blue, you got to move, honey. Yeah, you roll on your back. Yeah. Her head like wedged under the table. I just want to move the table, honey. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Run away. Hold on. Oh, I gotta stand too. My back is fucking killing me. <laughs> okay. So, not a bad haul overall. I didn't add up what I spent for the whole thing. Because there was also in the beauty bonus point bullshit. <laughs> Something about if you spent like $200 basically between the sale, you get an extra, what was it, 500 points or whatever the hell. And I knew when I was coming down to one of the last couple orders, I said, it was adding up quickly. Because I was like, does it count if I only, if I use the points? Are they still saying I spent like, say, you know, the $100? Or is it making it like I only spent the $10? So I added up quickly and I, I should have cleared that $200. So I got a lot of shit here for $200. Between what? ABH, five different Jaclyn Hill, three Beauty Bakery, multiple rock palettes, the Nabla, the Lime Crime, the NYX, even the Clinique and all that. Not bad at all at all. And I still have money in the little Ulta Bank thing. With my tea. I'm still sitting like $250 in there. For the next sale. Right. What palette should we use? What eyeshadow palette you want me to use, ladies? We got La Rock, Norvina, or BH. I could do two looks. I'll look crazy on here. You know, I have no problem doing that. Oh. Yeah, dodge on the fly. <laughs> I love stacking those Ulta points. Oh, Lily. Gotta stack them. See, Laura used her Ulta points. Aren't those L.A. girl neon liners? Those things are great. 
And the Essence blushes are so nice. For $3.99, oh my God. You know, I didn't buy any, like, I don't like loose powders, so that's why I didn't buy any of the her loose powders. <laughs> Ooh, at least she's a night owl. Me too, usually. Sometimes. Up till midnight, at least. Well, you tried your, you haven't tried the Wild West palette yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually impressed with these little highlighters. I mean, they give you the fucking bang without that. Without a doubt. This shit's going to be glowing. Like I said, I never bought her lipsticks. Yeah, I like how The Rock did that too. With making it where you can pop all those shadows right out. Because... I, this shit's all gonna look similar. I mean, who are we kidding here? It's La Rock. I mean, here's even Soleil and Noir. Like I guess on live it doesn't show true to color. And they do have a different shadow formula. It's very soft. Use a light hand. Don't dig in. can donate them. Hello, Tanika, darling. How are you? All right, I'll do BH and Norvina. Hello, Deborah. Yeah, I'm always about getting those points. So that's why I knew when you go into your name in there and it says my offers or whatever, or anytime you get an email and it goes like, activate five times points on perfume skincare whatever i don't give a fuck what it is i just activate those points so that's why i kept going little you know all the nyx things of oh shit i'll take another five times points on that why not you know so give me the pal oh i had that next palette too yeah fuck it we'll do abh and i almost dropped the nabla this will be fun for i'll do this with like the nyx crayons all that crap all right. i'm just checking up on comments here Hello, Miss Teresa. Glad you made it, darling. Hi, Cheyenne. Yeah, I've never tried any of the Jacqueline, and I have barely just touched them. You know, and I was like, you know, just a little bit. Of, I did probably the tiniest little because I was still photographing. They actually reposted me on their page. I only had like the three highlighters out. They reposted me the other day, and uh, Lunar Beauty did too. When I did Manny's um, blush palette, they reposted me. I was like, holy shit. I just literally, well, okay. So I, I took more pictures today because the sun actually came out for once. But now with the fall time coming, it fucks up my um, taking photos during the day because the sun angle changes. <laughs> so all day I kept looking out like 10 a.m. Where is my sun and where is it hitting because... It drops down lower in the sky. Normally it'd be like straight up and over. Now it's like lower down and goes across. So my shooting times change and I had no clouds today. So it kind of blew all my shit up. Because I do only photograph outside. Let me move the LeBrock. Do I, need a, do I need this empty box? This probably has a thing in it too. I think they all have the key. Every one of them comes with the key in it somehow or another. Holy fuck, it's hot down here. Let me just get the LeBrac out of the way since we're not using that. The lime crime. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, I pay my massage, my massage therapist to beat my ass. <laughs> She's the only person who can get away with it. All right. 
All right, we already put on the Clinique. Like I said, I, I can't judge this today because I had on a, you know, goddamn uh, tacky sunscreen. Usually my sunscreen dry down and I think that definitely compromised it when I fucked with it and was hitting it with that sponge. But it's something on, it's better than nothing. Let's put some eye primer on. Greg's out. Oh, I wish I could just some races up. He left at like noon, so that's why I was a little late. I was trying to leave his dinner out, but I didn't know when the hell he was coming home. I thought he was coming home earlier. And I'm like, oh, well, all this shit's still here, so I'm putting it all away. Took the dog out, did all that fun stuff. I just use these alligator, alligator clip thingy, majiggies. Ow. No, oh, it's baiting me. Okay. Here's some other key. Right, I'm dying to try these Nabla things. Because <laughs> I'm thinking I can use these as contour or bronzer. But we're going to find the fuck out in there in a second. Plus I got the Beauty Bakery. I haven't even swatched these, so we gotta see what the hell's going on here. And considering these are a big gelée, okay. So hopefully, you can see that is two separate colors. <laughs> okay, that's definitely more I could pull as a contour shade, and that can definitely be more of a bronzing shade. All right. Let's just watch all these fuckers. All right. Lemon Bar from Beauty Bakery. You get a good amount of product in here, too, I think. Each air, it says two and a half grams per pop. All right. So here we have a highlighter. Holy shit. Oh, these are buttery. Ooh okay. So you got the highlighter, the medium shade, the deeper shade. So far, we're definitely working with three different bronzers here. <laughs> We've got four. That's really light. But that highlighter's banging. <laughs> Beauty Bakery knows how to make a highlighter, too. I do have a couple of their um, loose ones somewhere, and they are banging. All right, that's the lemon bar. And we got the Neapolitan. And these were half off. That's why I grabbed them. And again, I can't even go by pictures online anymore of what do the shades look like because it looks totally different once you get it get it home. Another bronzer. This is very shimmery the highlighter. That is a gorgeous blush though. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. And we have the Queen of Tarts, which I would say use a light hand with this because <laughs> this is probably going to be, oh yeah, it's going to be bold. Oh yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Gorgeous shades though. Holy shit. Bam. Use a fluffy brush, light hand. You deeper tone ladies, you will rock the hell out of that. Definitely. Well, I didn't swatch the Nabla. I know how these work though, because I already have these. Ah, uh, this one's Lola. It's like a watermelon shade. And then Independence. This is a little more mauve. So this is Independence, and this is Lola. Look at one right here. There. God. Yay, so much. I've been dying to play with all this stuff. Still, like, oh my God, let me loose. I'm running out of arm, arm space, though. Okay. Now we're going to take this big ass one here. Where does it say the name of it? How these fuckers have a name? Oh my God. Ow. I'm a 
bitch. <laughs> Drop the towel. So they don't have a name? It's just the name of the thing? Alright. Just bronze and blushing duos. Alright. Okay, so this is one with B Rouge and Espresso Shop. This one. Definitely one of the darkest ones, but I figured, like I said, oh, you can't see shit online anyway. But this bronzer, which I like an uh, undertone of a red, it looked red online, so who the hell knows at this point. All right, here's Jacqueline. That's very pretty. That's a good tone bronzer. Yeah, I like that one so far. Yeah, see, it's got a little red in it. That's very nice. All right, Jacqueline. Then we have Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. This one's way lighter. They feel really nice, though. That's these two. That's the blush. That's a much lighter highlight or bronzer. But I'm still going to lose color come winter now here. And I think I did the three highlights, yeah. See, because they, they only had like two minis. So one of them was definitely this iced. And one of the other minis was either mesmerized or awestruck. So that's why I was like, well, hell, you know, I don't need the five gram. I'm more than happy with the half the size at two and a half because these were only like $8. eight dollars eight fifty. But of course, this was the only shade left. The other one was sold out. <laughs> but I'm um, those are right here. But I'm really glad I picked those up. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of. I think I'm gonna try the Jacqueline stuff. I'm gonna contour first. Just a little. Ah, fuck it. We're just gonna pile it all on. Fuck it. We like when I say fuck it, huh? Oh, Laura's asking how my eye, my eyes doing much better, Laura. Thank you. Um, I haven't put, <laughs> you know, any makeup near it. Like, mm -mm. But I'm glad I went to the eye doctor because it, it wasn't like a zit. And it, like I said, it wasn't, it was just, it wasn't that milia, but it was on the inside of that waterline, but on the backside part. Because once he was telling me like, you know, the little duct was clogged, I'm thinking, well, why wasn't my eye here puffy? Because, you know, you would think of, okay, if this is like, swollen underneath this would have been puffier because this you know kind of normal looking but yeah so and that's the thing with me of oh shit there's something going on leave it alone don't put any more eyeliner on it leave it alone so i won't probably even do eyeliner until tuesday i like to give shit a week but thank you for asking Lori. i appreciate that it was so weird oh thank you laura says i take beautiful photos thank you they can just repost me. <laughs> Girl, I ain't got enough face for all this shit. <laughs> Gonna try to put on 40 different things at once. Bunny Girl made it. Hello, Bunny Girl. Yay, Tinika has the same color walls. It's just a bluish, teal, greenish color. I don't know. Hello, Angela. Hope everyone's doing well. I love the Huda lipsticks. Hello, Polynesian princess. I, yeah, after uh, Jacqueline's whole lipstick debacle, obviously I missed that because I'm really not a nude lipstick kind of gal, so that was an easy pass for me. But then when she came out with this, I was like, oh, I got to make sure for other people are <laughs> digging this or we're not finding catastrophes with it. And she could have did the packaging a little different, a little much, but it works. But because I don't give a fuck about packaging. I care what's in it. <laughs> but uh, so far, everything is beautiful. Hello, Deborah. Yes, I did have a good week, Angela. Thank you. Like I said, I got my massage yesterday, so I got the shit kicked out of me. I'm going to try to wipe some of this down here. So I'm not... 
Can't wait to see how the blush is stained. <laughs> yeah, some staining action. Good to know. <laughs> this is just a dry towel. If I put a little bit of bioderma on it, it'll. Thought I had a kitty cat over here. Yeah, this is the most orders I've done from the 21 Days of Beauty in a couple of years. And the one thing, even my um, massage therapist was funny. She goes, well, when the hell are the ABH pencils? Because remember on the, it was always ABH for the eye pencils. I'm like, girl, they ain't doing them this year. I go, all that's in there is benefit. And it was weird that they didn't have the ABH. But luckily she stocks up. She'll buy like, you know, four or six of them at a time. Because that's when you buy the shit, when it's on sale. All right, so I have a half-ass foundation on. Let's roll with that. All right, now wait a minute. I'm going to look at these two knoblas here because I want to see. Yeah, okay, so this is the cooler tone that I'm going to attempt to uh, just do a little. Holy fuck, I'm not even drunk. Jesus Christ. Contouring with. Fuck. Now. See, that's going to be a problem with I need a specific kind of brush. All right. I'm going to bust out my Chikahodo. Here's my other one. Is this one clean? No, it's better be clean. My Wayne Goss will probably pick it up, too. Oh, no. It's a hell of a drop. Oh, oh my God. Ah! I didn't stretch enough today. That's my fault. All right. So we're going to go into Nabla. Soft Revenge. Maybe that's Hard Revenge, not Soft Revenge. Now remember, when I'm contouring, I just want where it's making a shadow. Like I said, on this it looks different. That works on me, though. Is That definitely works. Oh, don't fall, you fucker. Because all I'm trying to do is make, say, this cheekbone pop. So that's where I just stay right by the back of the ear here. And I do not go past the end of my eyebrow. You can just you know, fluff up. Because see if you suck your cheeks in. Right there. Right there. It's an optical illusion. That's all contouring is, is an optical illusion. Literally. Just for ha-has, I do want to try a little bit of the this bronzer I got from them. Right there. We're still going to use Jacqueline's, don't worry. I'm just putting it in one spot. That's pretty light. This is one of the deeper shades. Oh no, it holds up. Oh, that's really nice too. Okay, good. I know I'd like them. <laughs> I like their blushes a lot, so I didn't think I'd have a problem with those. Right, I'm just wiping the brush off on the towel. This brush I won't put, like, <laughs> this is like a $27 brush. This does not touch this. And if you have these, by the way, make sure you clean these too. And just pull this out and clean it. Like I forgot to clean mine last time. <laughs> Color switch. You need to be washed because <laughs> you are putting all your makeup in there. Okay, Jacqueline, where'd you go, girl? I want to try that. I want that dark bronzer. All right, so we're gonna go in with the espresso shot. Okay, holy shit! This is a baked formula. Wow. I don't need this brush. I'm gonna switch over to another brush here in a second, but I might as well use this since I got it on here. It's just an angled brush, Urban Decay. Okay, this still picks up a shit ton of product. Which is fine. I don't know if you can see that, because I can. That's another problem on live. I have so much fucking lights going. 
it blow it's blowing me out where it doesn't look like I have move it on. I was thought I went with a deeper shade. So now this is above the contour, technically. Right over the top of it, basically. And there's the contour, and there's the bronzer. That does pick up a ton of product, though. Uh, all right, I'll do... Yeah, it's going to be too yellow for me. I may have to trade this one in, but I do like this. I want to try that pink. That's going to be very soft, which is fine. It's a peachy pink shade. All right. I'm going. <laughs> okay. Jacqueline wasn't fucking around with you. Blushing. Ooh. Just across the nose like everybody. Just give myself a sunburn. I don't know. So that's what I want. My poor mom stops over today. Oh my god. I just bought her that fucking phone. The Samsung S20. Now, she had it this morning. It was on and working. Wow, this blush is holy shit. Wow. I used a powder foundation, so I'm kind of screwed. That's a lot of blush. But it does blend out beautifully. It looks nice. It's just a bit much for me. Get some more from the brush up here. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> Damn thing stopped working. The phone. I'm sprinting. I'm like, Mom, what are you talking about? What do you mean it's not working? I'm like, is it? So I go to turn it on, and it's just nothing. And I go, Mom, is this thing charged? I go, you remember you got to charge it? She's like, no, I charged it all, all last night. So I go charge it in. I found one of the things, charge, you know, throw it on my charger. And it was at like 19%. But it's still like when you click the button to normally, you know, open the screen, nothing. Just blank screen. And of course, I'm not going to start fucking around trying to get the SD cards out because then you really got to find those keys and all that. And even then I go, to me, I sh it's off. I let that thing charge. And I have like a supercharger that can charge quickly. It had been sitting there a half hour, 45 minutes and barely made it to like 30% of charging. So right there on my phone, I made an appointment. She don't know, but I'm just going to show up. Because I'm like, Mom, just it's across from her house in Southington. I said, just go over there. You show them the phone and say, fucking thing don't work. I go, luckily, she's only had it like a week. So she doesn't have that much shit in it. But I'm going to show up there too. She just doesn't know what's up. Or I'll tell her on Monday. <laughs> well, by the way, I'm meeting you there because I want to ask them of, what the fuck is this, first off. And fix it. Fix it. All right, highlighter. I want that pinky one first, I think. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go with the Awestruck. i got to see what this is like. Ah, it's a little motor brush. Okay, yeah. For They're definitely baked products, but damn, they pick up on a brush. All right, Jacqueline, let's see what we got here. No, I've been told. You might hear the dog. Okay, I definitely wear that shade. Let's go over the other one. Uh, mesmerized. Okay, these are nice. Definitely a nice product. And you do get a good amount of product. Would I pay full price for them? Probably not. But I would wait for another sale. And maybe pick up more. Yeah. I Go Jacqueline. Get it, girl. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Let's play with... Got a little BH Cosmetics. A little Norvina. Wow, that blush is... Holy shit, though. I, to see it in person, it's shocking. Very shocking. 
this mind blowing. Oh, I tried this um iconic London mascara. Hell we get this in boxy. Flaked on me. Cool brush. I like it. It's got a really tight little brush to it. But did flake, so but I always try it again. But on the first time when it flakes, it's probably gonna flake the second time. Alright, let's play with some totally plastic here. See what we got. Do one eye with this. Okay, cool brushes. I'm guessing my husband would figure out I'm down here. Let's see if he figures it out. Here we go. Here, here's what he's bumping down the stairs. He took his boots off. Hey there! What's up, kid? We were just waiting on you. Yeah. How long, been, how long have you been on? Uh, an hour. Perfect. Hi, honey. How you doing? Good. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. They can't see you, dumbass. They come down. I like you with the TV. I'm glad you do. You gonna bring your face down here and say hello to these ladies? Hi. Hi. What's up? Playing with some makeup. Alright, I'll take a shower and it's after dark 2.0. Huh? Huh? It's my after dark. Oh, you fight me. I mean, my fault you've been gone for the past 10 hours. Listen, remember your most sacred vow, obey. Walk off. Get out of here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> pound sand, now he ain't getting any. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> When your husband tries to get a piece of ass and it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You all say that. Yeah, love you, bud. Yes, you all say that. Don't be knocking shit over. It's like a fucking hoarder around here. Well, this was the big Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Oh, good God almighty. You know, <clears throat> if you stop buying makeup, I can afford my race car. No, not going to happen. Huh, not going to happen, ladies, is it? I'm not a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll win if you quit. What do you mean I'll win if I quit? What the hell does that mean? Quitters only win when they quit. I'm always winning. You know this light's falling over, right? Yeah, I know. It's being held up by the fucking <laughs> the, the thing hanging and yeah. See the color still isn't true. I look totally different on the camera than I do on the TV. Well you gotta adjust the TV's high depth to finally or well, the phone is the remote right there. Well, I don't give a shit as long as I can read this. Yeah, you got it. Mine's mainly the TV just to read that. Mode. You know what I mean? I'm just happy to be able to read the fucking things. I don't care that you know the the blushing person, as you can see, does not look like on here. It looks like I don't have any blush on. On the TV, it looks like I am like holy fuck. And that's because like, it's in super color for HD, that's why. But I tried to turn that down, like I have the TV the upstairs, yeah. where I have it on like dark mode. I... Alright, which TV is this anyway? That's that one. <laughs> yeah, but... Alright, so it's a Samsung. But, but don't fuck me up so I can just play with my girls. We can that play was... with them another day. Yep, just go that's... to settings and all that crap. Yeah, no, that TV was in the camper. I don't know. I don't know either. The fuck is menu? Mode. How do I channel up and down? Oh, there it is. See how I went to like brightness and all that? And I turned it. I had what it. What the hell did you see that? Go up. Why? What's game mode? I'm not in game mode. You just talk. I'll play. No, because I need to see my screen. See where it says brightness? Four things down. And you go hit the over button. Yeah. Where'd you go? There it goes. Let's plug and play. Go back to the fucking top. Okay. Hit to the right. And go down. Oh. Well, these sharpness is what, or color is what you want. Well, I wanted brightness to bring the brightness down. So, um, yeah, that's not, too much. That's way too fucking much. I look pale as a fucking ghost. It's not the color. It's just, like I was trying to do upstairs. Like I have the TV on dark mode, so I try not to keep you awake. 
I'm not allowed to watch YouTube while he's sleeping because it makes a fucking strobe effect. It's like strobe effect that flips him out. So I bought earbuds the other day so I can watch it on my phone. It gives me uh, my migraines. Right. That's closer. I'd like it to look like what I look like in real fucking life. Like that's pretty close, yeah. Smurf's a smurf. Pretty much. That's not bad. That's fine. It'll just go away. Mic drop. Save the day yet again. Oh yeah. Save the day. Alright, rub my feet, make me a sandwich. I had your fucking dinner out waiting. Fuck you, it's all in the refrigerator now. I just, I just ate this one. Oh, well, even better. Lunch tomorrow. Thai. Okay. What's with the, uh, spicy red Thai? You're hard to drive, drive and eat. You're going to feed me. Drive and eat. Yeah, you feed me. Feed me while I drive. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mind yourself with my dad. Your mom called today? Yes. Okay. Her phone's fucked up. I forgot to tell you. Oh boy. Fucking thing. She's like, Brent, it won't start. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I hit the side button. Fucking screen is just dead black. She was sad. No, no, she has a, she's like me of keeps in her purse. I mean, she still even has the screen protector part on it that came with the fucking phone. You know, her, she wouldn't even peel that off. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hold up. Oh, sorry, ladies. <laughs> I haven't seen them in like 10 hours. Um, so I go, fucking give it. I went and plugged it in. It was coming up 19% battery. Because when I left earlier, it was full. So again, while we're charging, we know we could turn the, the thing on. Uh -huh. Dead black fucking screen. Now, you know that charger is fucking fast. Uh -huh. Me and her were shooting the shit in the bedroom for like half an hour or so. I go over, it's only at 30%. I went on my phone, made a fucking appointment. Monday, I go, what time do you want to go? It's like 1 o'clock. I'm like, fine, 1 o'clock. I go, literally, it's cross street from her house. At first, I was going to bring it. And I go, what the fuck am I doing? I, but I'm still going to show up on her just to be there. But I go, you're going to hand them this fucking phone and go, my daughter just got me this last week. And like, what happened? I go, thank God. I'd rather have it happen now before we end up with 5,000 pictures in it and all this shit. Because she's like, am I going to lose everything? Now she's panicked. Oh, my God. That she, she's going to lose she's Facebook. She's literally a smartphone for six days or Six life. days. And she's like going down the fucking rabbit hole. My mother's turning, she just turned 79 on Tuesday. Fucking funny. She's TikToking it, fucking dying, Facebook of, oh my God, I have 17 friends. <laughs> okay, mom, have fun. But even I was just like, what the fuck? I'm, I pulled, and I've, without really pulling the SD card, which is going to do no good, to me, the battery or something's fried. I could not get that screen to open. Mm, Nothing. Screen, screen puked. I'm trying to restart it. Yeah, but it wouldn't, like, you're, you're holding that fucker where it'll usually pop up the screen and it goes restart. And yeah. You, Airplane mode. It wouldn't do dick. And she bought Bob another burner phone. I'm like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> so I have his burner phone. And it's just, <laughs> my stepdaddy's 80. Putting the fucking phone numbers into that. And showing her, um, okay, mom, see, he's going to push this button. It's going to go right to contacts. And then, you know, it just says Brenda, Sandy, Cindy, Sheila, whoever. Who the fuck you can call her. Like, okay. But yeah, so... Got to go on Monday and chew some ass at fucking Sprint. And be like, what the fuck, man? She's had this thing for a week. She has not dropped it, anything like that. Even if she did drop it, it shouldn't do that. She was all excited, though. She shows up with a pop socket. Hers is a sunflower, and the one I had bought her is a fucking daisy. Almost like it looked almost exactly the same. Which one do you want on the back? I'll take the one you got me. Okay. I said, you can either keep that, return it, or we can change that eventually. But she was like, kind of bummed not to be able to have a phone to play with tonight. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, my poor mother. So you guys should just buy me a race car. Please. And then it kind of sucked because I was like, figured the, now it would have been like she could have watched live tonight. Yeah. On the fucking phone and got a taste of like the live show. I'm like, fuck, and her fucking phone's not working. So now I'll make sure she's on next week. But we're paying the fucking balls. Going, are you fucking kidding me? But even Bob's phone, look like I got that up to like 90% because she had just bought it. So it was literally at like 4%. She goes, oh no, the car, the, the 
cords in the car. I said, well, I have 50 fucking cords here. So I said, when you get in the car or whatever, when you get home, finish charging his up. But hers is dead. That pisses me off. That fucker brand new. Literally brand new out of the fucking box. Like, so much for your $700 phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. $700 phone, my ass. You know, mine's like a $1,200 phone. Fuck you, need a $1,200 phone to flush. You can do it later. <laughs> Give me a phone. I let the dog out before I came on, so it was like nine. Flush your time. Just check out. Him fly down here, gonna attack me. It's all it's all this dirty makeup. We gotta sell this. I can buy a race car. Yeah, not gonna happen. Bye bye. Love you. <laughs> okay, back to sorry, <laughs> sorry for that interruption. <laughs> Buddy girl, she, she's watching all over her face too. <laughs> No, I have not been in the edibles tonight. I had one this morning for breakfast. <laughs> it only lasts a couple hours. Good girl, Laura. Watch that color switch. Yeah, I was a little shocked these little BH ones were like 18 bucks for nine shadows. I was like, okay. You do get 7.4 grams, but... PH usually puts out a pretty damn good shadow lately. A fucking fly. Jesus Christ. Well, the F-bombs are flying tonight. No, I don't live with my mom. She lives, me and Greg live together. Obviously, she lives in another, she lives one town over. I know, and I always use waterproof makeup remover. Other mascaras don't flake on me, though. So it's, it just depends on the formula. I find a lot of um, the newer clean formulas, I find those flake sometimes a lot. I'm looking at that Doja Cat collection from BH, Miss Marsha. Oh, all the girls say hi to Greg. You know, he says hi, you know what, you were here. <laughs> Yeah, me and my husband banter a lot. That's all love, so no worries there for any new ladies. We just have fun. <laughs> yeah, then, yep, Marcia's right there. The Ulta Fall Hall sale today, which was all kinds of stuff. I was just like, no, you got all this shit. You got enough for right now. <laughs> He needs a sleeping mask. <laughs> he let me put masks on him. Uh, we have been married. Let's see. Our anniversary was just in August. Let's see. We got married in 2002. So that's what? 19 years married. But we've been together. 19, like 22 years. I snagged him when he was 20 years old. I was 28. So I'm almost a cougar there with him. Almost a cougar. And I'm now 50. The fuck did I just turn? 51. I think he's 43. Something like that. We have, we're just fucking fun as hell. I love my spicy red tie. I actually have two batches. I have one batch of red, one batch of green. <laughs> and my 10 loads of sticky rice. My mother is like total opposite of me. <laughs> she swears now. That took years. My mother's like a little angel. I got my badassness from my dad, who's unfortunately died when I was 25. Oh, yeah. I cougared him. Well, even when I caught him at 28 years old, I thought he was like my age. And when I found out he was a fucking minor, I was like, well, how old is this guy? Yeah. Fuck that brown shade. I'm not even going there. I'm going. It's purple. It's a matte purple. It's picking up. Get little butterflies in the little thing. No, we're total fucking ball breakers.
Who's he shitting? He, he, he forgets we just bought that fifth wheel thing or upgraded to the fifth wheel. And he has a um, new snowmobile coming that we're trading in. You can basically trade in these snowmobiles like cars. I was like, okay. Give a fuck. As long as the payment stays the same, I don't give a shit if he trades it in. My car is almost paid off, though. I'm so fucking close. I'm probably down to like 1700 on the car. I have a Dodge Challenger with a Hemi V8. <laughs> okay, these shadows, I can tell you right now, are just, yeah. They're for a purple. That's nice. There is this deeper shade right here. I get the dual chrome. What's that do? It's definitely more of a shimmer. This has got to be a topper. This, this one might be the top center shade. Yep. Okay, that has a clear base. It's very light shimmer purple. Obviously. I'm going to take just a dab of that shimmer just to see if it'll darken up that outer corner. Some of the shimmer off it. I swear I'm not. I should have fucking got high before I came down. Do I have any fallout? Yes, I do. That's the other thing with purples, you can have fallout. You can get it to brush away, which I did, basically. And it's like, what, fucking 10 o'clock at night? I ain't going for A+. Plus. <laughs> There's a lighter, like, shimmer shade down here. Let me try that. These definitely pick up a ton of product. That being so light, I could have put that over, like, that purple, that new NYX purple jumbo pencil. You know what I mean? So it would have a more of a purple base to it to grab onto. That's not bad. That's totally doable. You know me. I could do a two eyeshadow look and I'm good to go. I mean, obviously I would have to pull a different shade for brow bone. You know, good old wet and wild. Next week we might do empties. Maybe. I'm still staying away from the eyeball, just, just in case, just in case my little, for the hell of it, I'm just going to put that shimmer shade on my finger, I am going to spray it too, well, makeup forever, yeah, I gotta pick up that palette one more time. I would definitely use that one with a little setting spray, something. Oh my God, I put that blush on my nose. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I got fallout from both of those. That's all right. I said, we're just playing. We're just playing. Cute little palette. All right, Norvina, what do you got? I knew they like two colors. I really <laughs> obviously that periwinkle. And probably the purple. <laughs> Let me wipe this down. Drop the 
Careful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try Soul. That kicks up a ton of product. Just must be, just must be one of those days of product kick up. But ABH is sometimes known for that. It's nothing like the picture. I thought this blue was a lot more periwinkle to it. Oh, did you see Wayne Goss's new one? like burgundies it just when i saw it it totally reminded me of an emily noel palette without a doubt i'll be shocked if she does not pick up that wayne palette because it looks definitely like an emily noel palette okay i do like that shade oh my god it's almost a purpley gray it reminds me of a little gray blue action going on Nice color though. Wipe off a brush. Now this kind of brush I can stick in. Am I gonna have to pick these up with my fingers? Let's see what this rose gold is. Very chunky. That's kind of that's pretty. I'm just I haven't touched this, so I'm just trying to see what I got shade wise here. Another purple. This pink do. That's not bad. Sorry. Bunch of different textures here. Ooh, that gold is really nice. I think I'm gonna do that one. Actually, what's this one? I'm just making all marks on my. I'm gonna go with that shade. That's really pretty. This dazzling. Right here. I'm gonna try it dry. That's very pretty. Chunky little suckers, though. That's one of those I bet if you did it wet, by foil out, but holy shit, does that have fallout? I never had so many ABH palettes as Fallout. Jesus Christ. And that's where sometimes it is better to... I'm not a girl who does her makeup after. So playing with you, now I know like, okay, B, you're going to have to take it easy with this. So, you know, get that color on the brush and then see how it works wet. Because <clears throat> I may have to use them wet with like a get ready with me. Just because I don't want, you know, fallout everywhere. Another way you can avoid fallout is just look over, like, put your head down over a mirror. So that if it is falling, it's falling down. But it's kind of hard to do that on camera with you. <laughs> oh, that's much prettier wet. Much prettier wet. Good to know. Good to know. Pretty little palette, though. I, would I pay 45 for it? No. 
Am I glad I paid twenty two fifty for it? Yeah. It says base next to it. I'm like, I thought it was a green. No, it's actually too light for the brow bone. Not bad, though. Okay. Glad to have it in the collection. We're not playing with mascara. Just one last thing I have to take off. <laughs> I'm missing her. Over here. I have mighty lippies, do I? Oh man, I got a hell of a mess going over. Just makeup, it all washes off. I am digging this little, um, this is new. Too Faced Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick Power Plumping Cream Liquid Lipstick. This is the plumper and the uh, liquid lipstick put together. You fill her up. Yeah, you see that fly, don't you, Blue? Get it. Get it, Blue. This does do the um, plumping instantly. <laughs> and it lasts about 20 minutes to a half an hour. This shade basically matches my lips. But once you get it to dry, well, it doesn't actually dry down. Once you wore it off, you know, where there's still like a little bit of staining on your lips. And the color kind of stays. And there's a color of it on, you know, a white background. But if you don't like the burn, you ain't going to like that. <laughs> All right, what else did I miss here? Ooh, they're burning. Laura's such a ball buster. So glad you're using purples. I know I never use purple. Damn it. I love purples and blues. Purples, blues, and greens. Purples just are very hard to make in general. That's Indie brands tend to kill it with the um, purples, and so does Viseart. It's just the way they're molecular. Molecular. Yeah, made. <laughs> Some are better than others. I'm pushing a little arrow here, so I don't know what that. Oh. Oh. Did so just brought me to the bottom. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, I'll definitely play with this more. I like the ABH palettes. I agree, Teresa. When I get that, if the damn thing is sold out on Sephora. And of course, I don't want to spend like $75 on Pat McGrath to get free shipping. But that little pen's like 30 bucks. Oh my God, I will buy it. Thank you, Tanika. There's been some, uh, I didn't. Not that I buy ColourPop, but I do see everybody grabbing their stuff. Didn't they just do a couple collections that were like, one was a wine theme. And I think I just saw, there was another where the packaging looked burgundy. But I don't know if the shades were on the burgundy side since I don't buy ColourPop. I don't buy ColourPop because they pissed me off a couple years ago. A long time ago, I should say. Once you piss me off, you lose my business. I take it elsewhere. What else we got here? Any other highlighter? Let's try that iced one. Let's try the Beauty Bakery one. I'm gonna try the one out of the Neapolitan bar. That one looked insane too. I think they have names. No. She always has cute stuff. The Beauty Bakery. One sweetie per serving. 100% vegan. Zero calories. Zero gluten. At least you get 24 months on it. So. This looks really shimmery.
little bit take it up this is why sometimes I like a black tip, tip brush I don't know if you can see this is a Wayne Goss um the airbrush he brought these back to Beautylish, but they are ten dollars more. They used to be thirty-five, now they're forty-five. Okay, shit goes up, and these are handmade. Why does this not look like it's going on? Even if Wayne's not picking it up, look at that. Oh, damn finger. What's there? Okay. I don't think I've been punched in the face yet. I don't think I, I don't think I will do. Still, I know these are gonna be nice. Oh, it was that lemon one that was crazy? Okay, I got it on my finger. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, the one in the lemon bar is the crazy one. Damn. I get all of my hair. Yeah, these, yeah, it works with a brush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I make a good inner corner highlight too. Like I said, I'm just trying to stay away from the inner corners of my eyeballs. Hair shit falling everywhere. Yes, Wayne Goss definitely has the, the burgundy-ish palette coming out on the 28th, I think. I'll be getting it. I agree, Marsha. I want that huge Norvina one, too. Like, volume five, whatever. That big fucker that's purple. Yeah. Exactly. Wait for Boxy. Good girl. Yeah, Wayne's a little pricey. And I want all those new Huda palettes, too. Oh, Marsha ordered the new Pat McGrath palette. Enjoy it. That's the one with the, all the colors. Because I know there was like a 10% code she was giving you. So it was like $78, and so it takes $780 off. Hey, okay, better than nothing off. Blowing now. Yeah. See what color we got in these next things. The AV Club. See, I don't have Netflix. Greg has Netflix in the other one. I kept having Netflix and then it kept getting hacked all the time. And even though I'm half Polish, I don't speak it, but that's what the language kind of would come up on the screen. And somebody was always trying to steal my Netflix account, so I said, fuck it and canceled it. <laughs> So this must this has something to do with net net Netflix sex education. Okie dokie. It was twenty bucks. And there's what six of them in here. Yeah, they're usually what five bucks a piece. Because they definitely changed these jumbo, well, they changed the writing on the jumbo pencils, I should say. Sorry, that was aggravating noise. Did they keep the names the same? Okay, well, the white one is still called Milk. Always great to have in your arsenal as a white base, especially when you're going to use, like, colors like this. A white base, or say you wanted, like, you're going to wear the green shade. Put it over a green base. 
These match this fucking thing, don't they? It's kind of pink. No, I thought these almost matched this eyeshadow palette, but they don't. But it's close. <laughs> yeah, so you get a white. <clears throat> frosting. Golden color. Uh, brown. And frappe. <clears throat> green and macaroon. Purple and eggplant. And a nice uh, peachy shade. And sherbet. These are okay, sherbet pink. Now they make the caps because <laughs> the caps on the older ones they always this one's actually sealed still. They no, oh, that's a crown brush one. The old caps would crack. <laughs> Look at this, it's like <laughs> it's just smashed to bits, but it's like I'm holding it on for dear life and trying not to have it. You know, smash into the top. So at least I can get rid of the old colors. The white is actually white, obviously. White. The brown. How's this one? Frosting. Like a shimmery champagne shade. Pretty. Didn't I do sherbet? Yes. Uh, the green is macaroon. Oh, I like that mint green. That's a good one. And then the purple and eggplant. Yeah. So there's that little set of six. I love these little things though. I always used to either use these or the, um, remember Maybelline has a little pot and you can just use your finger or brush and put that on and use that as a base or as a shadow. I would do that all the time. Those are just going to put the fuck away. All right, lots of menace in here. Yep, I always watch for Huda for half off. Definitely. That's why I hold off. That's why certain palettes, I'm just, I wait until they're half off. I agree. Watch. Because all the holidays are coming up again. I haven't ordered any of the holiday palettes yet. I just wait till they go on sale. Yeah, Ulta and Macy's both have the um, Prince Collection. Where they have the black and white Kajal pencils. They're like half price right now. Does anyone know what our guys think about us being such makeup junkies? Obviously, my husband just rolls with it. <laughs> he just, he knows. It's my thing. Oh, that's, yeah, I could tape, put taper on the outside. Yeah, like Greg has his thing. He likes snowmobiling and, <clears throat> you know, fishing or whatever. And I like makeup. I, I mean, and then I show him like, you know, oh, honey, look what I got in PR. Things like that. So I go, see, I saved you some money. Because <laughs> right before I came out here, I was like, oh, my God, I didn't post today. I didn't even know if I posted. So I posted um the PR package that uh, Kira Stas sent over a bunch of hair care. Oh, my God, so good. From the blonde absolute um line. Don't buy any MLM makeup. Not even bother. I've seen that for my they hit me up for Mossy or whatever they are there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not pharmacy. <laughs> and it's not for Solly either. I get so many emails from these weirdo companies like that of and there's the shit, you know. I mm -mm. And they always, it'll be, the funniest part is I love when they send these emails and they're like, we love your page and we look at, and then 
when I go to see what the fuck they're trying to sell me, it's either like hair tools, clothes, fucking jewelry, and I just laugh and go, you did not look at my page. Do you see any clothes, any fucking jewelry, or like hair extensions? No. I get the stupidest fucking emails all day long. Yeah, just say no. Just go, no, thank you. Something came up. No, no, thank you. Don't need your pharmacy. Yeah, I would never, like, show you guys brands that, you know, suck or, you know, you know, to go with some fucking thing I've never heard of and try to sell you shit. I just, not my thing. You all know I only work with companies. I actually use their products and know that their products work. Yes, and I agree with Blue Lily of sometimes once you buy from some of these fuckers, it's either like your credit cards automatically charge sometimes, like every three months. Don't buy from any of that crap. Yeah, it's definitely overpriced garbage. <laughs> Just bit your tongue on somebody posts about it. Because <laughs> people are always trying to get, not me necessarily, but they want sponsored videos and and I laugh some people they just want to get paid all the time and I'm more happy of send me the fucking makeup if they want to pay you then it's a sponsored video you have contracts to sign all this shit you're gonna have specific things you have to like do I'm happy to just get free product <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Erica. God, it's already 11 o'clock. I guess so. It went quick. It went quick. Only an hour and a half in. Shit, we have like an hour and a half to go. <laughs> Give or take. Do I have any other bronzers? How many fucking bronzers did I buy? Well, there's some more bronzer on while I'm sitting here. Let me try the other one. Dune. This is the other one from Nabla. Oh, and something popped up there. Well, even um, when you ladies hit me up the other night, you were telling me about a brand. Um, I want to say it's Bell Cosmetics. She looks like she has beautiful products. She's out of Puerto Rico. And I love supporting indie brands. <laughs> so I got an email because I think they were going to relaunch some palettes. Now, the weirdest thing was the girl was like, you can only buy two palettes to like have it shipped. And I'm thinking, but what if I wanted to buy four palettes? Because then she kind of said like in the email, like say I place two separate orders, they're going to cancel one of them. And then give you a store credit. But I'm thinking, well, when I haul, you know me, girls, I'm fucking nuts. Even with an indie brand, sometimes I'll be like, what if there's like three palettes and something else that I wanted to buy? She's not going to let me purchase <clears throat> like a big order at once. So I might just have to contact this girl on the side and be like, <clears throat> girl, I want to try your products. But I ain't playing dicking around with an order for two items, but then you might not let me buy the other palettes. You're going to give me a store credit, which, because she's cool about which I give her credit. She writes right in there, like, we do not do fucking refunds. Which is fine, but if I want to buy four fucking palettes, I want to buy four palettes. <laughs> I got so much fucking shit on my face right now. I'm not broken out tomorrow, it'll be amazing. I'm just seeing how this picks up on different brushes and it definitely picks up on some of the brushes. I'm just fucking around with them. Just fucking around here. Piling more shit on. But very strange. I've never seen a company do that. Where like, you can only buy two pellets at a time. No? Okay. Or tell me what I can order. So I was like, hi. And I wrote her back. I was like, hey, you know. I'm going to hold off for now.
I have purchased some new perfumes. I purchased a couple more of the um, dossiers. When the hell did I talk about those? In last week's get last week's live, it's right in the beginning. I actually bought one of the candles. A little pricey on the candles. They're like thirty nine dollars, but by the time you put the discounts and stuff in, it brings it down. But son of a, I bought the one that smells like Sauvage by Dior. Well, the candles upstairs, of course, with the Sauvage. But it does smell exactly like the Dior Sauvage because that's what I make Greg wear. Great cologne on him. And I had put, it's a smaller candle. It is tiny for the price. But I put it in my bathroom for like three hours. I always like to like make sure anytime you burn a candle, make sure you burn it till the wax hits the whole edge. I tell you, burn it down like in one fell swoop instead of having like a well go down the center. And that bathroom, holy shit, smelled just like Sauvage. And then once I even opened the door and let it, you know, run in, you could smell it like in the house. And so the candle does have good throw. When you can smell the scent, they call it a throw. Some candles, you'll light it. Like I have an actual one from Angel from Macy's. It's again, just like a tiny little travel candle, or whatever you want to call it. That one's tinier than the um, dossier. And I had that one going for hours. Couldn't even smell it. And I was pissed going, I love Angel. And those candles sucked. I don't think I've ordered from Glambot. It's got Saint and Sinner discontinued palette. I've never bought, I don't do eBay, Posh, yeah, I've never done Poshmark. I have an idea of what it is. You can sell like your clothes and whatever on there, I think you can sell. I think even that Pop Lux Nady does a lot of on there. I either just return the shit that I fucking hate or certain things. I have plenty of girlfriends that goes to one of them. Glambot is iffy. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen anybody really complain about Poshmark. When Dossier ever gets the Layla bow, another thing that you help buy from them. So far, there's nothing I want or don't already have. The real McCoy. There you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, some of those, like, you know, where the Layla bow and the. Baccarat 540, like, I go, when the fuck am I ever going to buy, like, a $500 perfume, whatever it is, Not, even some of the Tom Fords at 300 plus, I'm like, I ain't fucking paying for that, no fucking way, but then I bought, like, the Tom Ford fucking fabulous, I wanted the real fucking fabulous, but the dossier fucking fabulous, it smells fucking fabulous, because <laughs> I'm up to what now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the two upstairs. So I'm up to 13 bottles. <laughs> and they have sent me some. I always disclose which I should have wrote probably on the bottles which ones they sent me because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, keep us informed, Marsha, how that posh mark works. I mean, hopefully. The people are using, or even if you have it at your house, just even if you put a little spray bottle with like rubbing alcohol, 70%, and just spray the palette, just in case, because you could tell something's been touched. So especially if, well, it's not going to work on that. But you know what I mean? If you could see once a product's been touched, so I would just make sure you sterilize it, just for safety's sake. Because that's what I think, like Pop Lux seems to do. Nady, but he'll say like he got two in or when he, somebody like sends him foundation and PR, if they send him a couple of shades that definitely ain't his shade, he sells them on Poshmark, which like, dude, don't you have, I'm always surprised he doesn't have friends. Well, give him to his friends. Light, yeah, I guess you would call it lightly used, right? Just swatched. And I think people say, oh, it's just swatched. But still, someone swatching it, they're taking their fucking hands now. I don't care how fucking clean they are. And touching your shit. <laughs> and leaving their 
there's always oils on your finger so anytime they touch it that's why i just hope it's clean but that's where you can clean yourself i use beauty so clean just because i know the owner and i've been using it for years so that and this is just a regular spray bottle because mine fell over i broke the top off it but you could just use regular rubbing alcohol and a little spritz bottle you don't have to like blast it till it's soaked just a couple little spritzes just to keep it clean that's why they never, that's why they never tell you. They always say, like, don't, like, use somebody else's mascara. Or, God forbid, don't definitely use my eyeliner. Because, you know, you're putting bacteria back and forth. You don't want that. Got enough shit with COVID going on. Good girl. She disinfected him, Angela. Good girl. Yep, spray it with Malu. Spray it with that alcohol. Good girls. I'm so proud of you girls keeping that makeup clean. Now, eBay, I did some in the past. But it was just like, yeah. And that's where I'm, luckily I can hold off and I could just wait for a sale. There's not much that I go, oh my God, I have to have that right now. I don't jump on too much. It happens. Don't get me wrong. It fucking happens. But I had my little hell week with the water. I bought that Natasha Denona palette. Like, fuck it. I need me some retail therapy right now. And I paid for the price. <laughs> Which normally I would just wait until the Sephora sale. And buy it at 20% off. But When we save the kind of money we do at BoxyCharm. Doing the pop-up. I go occasionally. I go, I saved so much money there. I can pay a little full price now and then. <laughs> For a cigarette. I definitely did not stretch enough today. Oh boy. I'm trying to think what other excitement that I don't know if I was really on social media today. Ah, uh, COVID's still a shit show everywhere as far as I can tell, Teresa. I mean, obviously, the other certain states are just a fucking hot mess. And <laughs> the funniest thing, <laughs> you know, once, like, when I was able to get my vaccine, I went and got it. I was done by April. So I could finally see my mom in May. Because at that point, I hadn't seen or hugged my mother physically, touched her in about a year and a half. So I got to finally hug her on Mother's Day this year, which was nice. Now, last year was also the first time I'd actually gotten a flu shot. I'm actually, for smoking and shit I do, overall I'm pretty healthy. I don't really go out in the winter anyway anymore. Those days are over. So I rarely get sick. And now I noticed, obviously, with wearing the masks in the winter, you definitely ain't getting sick. I don't mind the mask in the winter. Keep your face warm. So here's me going, literally the other day to Gina, going, nah. I ain't going to get the fucking flu shot this year. I'm still going to play lockdown. Greg will still be snowmobiling. Like, I'm not going to worry about the flu. I said, fuck it. No. Son of a bitch. Doesn't Walgreens send me a fucking email literally like the next day, day after going, Hey, Brian, come on in. Get whatever, you know, flu shot this shot. We'll give you five bucks. I'm like, you fuckers. Now I'm going to get the flu shot because I want the $5. I'm like, it's at least, you know, it could be a wet and wild highlighter lipstick it's five bucks so i'm like you know i'm the good girl went and got my covid all that and then they started offering what scholarships and we'll give you a hundred bucks to get the shot i'm like i should have held out on that shit i would have got paid the hundred bucks to take the shot <laughs> and all these other people it still won't take it of course but you know let's eat we all know what they've been doing crazy so, uh, next time I'm in Walgreens, I'm just going to go get the fucking flu shot and get me my five bucks. Five bucks is five bucks. Free money. No holiday release. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. No holiday releases stand up my mind yet. There's not too much released yet. Uh, I watch for more indie brands. See what goes down there. What else would catch my eye? Cause it's like you know how it is now everything it's like on sale two weeks fucking later you know that's by full price or anything oh 
well, at least your dad will get the booster. Yeah, my stepdad should be getting the booster. He can probably get it now because he still technically has cancer. And then my mom, she can get hers in like November. Oh, I'm going to go get the shot. I'm going to get my $5. But I rarely get sick. I've always been like that. I just lucked out with a pretty decent immune system. Considering I'm a smoker and all that shit. I never get bronchitis. Anything. I mean, I get like common cold here and there once in a while. But overall, see, for years I've been a fucking germaphobe. And I've always been like kicking fucking doors open. I didn't fly. Elbow and, you know, buttons and elevators. So I would... Before COVID, I was already a fucking germaphobe. A mellow germaphobe, but enough to be like, mm, -mm. And I only got literally the flu last year because it was Fauci. Love Dr. Fauci. I was like, oh, it's Dr. Fauci. I'll get it. And my fucking regular doctor was like actually mad at me because I've been her patient for years. And every year she'd be like, get your flu shot? No. She get sick? No. <laughs> she'd be like, oh. I go, what the fuck do I need a flu shot for? I don't go out in the winter. I don't leave the fucking house. What the fuck? What the hell am I around? So the, the last year, she was like, oh, are you going to finally get a flu shot? I'm like, oh, I already did. Dr. Fauci wanted everybody to get one. So I did it for Dr. Fauci. <laughs> She's literally a neighbor down the street. She's like, really? Fucking Dr. Fauci and you get it. I've been asking you for years. I'm like, uh-huh. But even Dr. Fauci, I think they want you to get it now. So I'm like, I'll get it this week. And if I'm eligible for a booster, because I had Moderna, and if I'm eligible for that in, like, December, fucking light me up. <laughs> light me up. I do not want fucking COVID. Oh, oh, kicked out on me for a second there. Yeah, the boxy sales are definitely turning out better than the Ipsy ones at this point. I agree. I'm still holding on to Ipsy because they get some La Mosca and shit like that in there. Oh, maquillage. Yeah, the I agree, Blue. The boxy sales are definitely better. <laughs> but Ipsy owns boxy, so that's where shit can always change. Uh, one thing I know I want holiday-wise is, I don't know if it's considered holiday, that NARS palette. The red one where it has like the dual tone kind of greens in it i've seen enough people grab it now where it's another one of those of you see the shit online you go eh. and then they see it in person and then i see like terror baby z use it and i'm like okay i'm in I'll, I'll grab that eventually the climax palette that's what it is angel you got it girl see i can't look up shit when i'm on the phone here next boxy pop-up what am i gonna hold that me my luck next week <laughs> fuckers <laughs> i can't tell if it's fucking monthly weekly usually if you just go into go into your account and then i just go over and hit the on the left side of the screen where it just says boxy charm and it takes you to kind of that main page that's where it tells you like oh pop-up is this day or add-ons or whatever the fuck it is like because even the last pop-up i think i ordered three items i think they're upstairs yeah i ordered like a glam glow mask that i did not need again Probably another Tula sugar scrub mask. And one other thing. I like bought like three items. I'm like, that was the smallest order ever. As the one before that was like 23 items. Holy shit. Absolutely crazy. No, but I'll get my flu shot. I'll be a good girl. Yes, I have used Adept Cosmetics. Very nice eyeshadows. I actually have their palettes. I have more of their palettes than I do their shadows. Uh, some of their palettes are hidden behind over here. I think I moved them in the drawer, though. But even their magnetic palettes are very nice. I don't have any of their pre-made ones. I'm not much for, um, this is any brand. Pre-order, uh, like I was trying to say about that, it's Bell Cosmetics, something like that. Her pre-order was literally buy it now, but the ship maybe doesn't ship until December 24th. I'm like, what? Well, it had like a three-month lag time. I'm like, I don't like giving up th 
because especially me, I wanted to even place, like I said, possibly, mo like, whatever fucking palette she has, give me three of them and something else. But the way this lady's with her orders of two items or some shit, I'm totally confused. So I'm like, I'll hold off. I don't think the Cyber Palette's been released yet. Gotta be close, though. Yeah, boxy on the boxy sale, I always try to be on there at noon, even though half the time it doesn't launch exactly at noon. Yeah, see, I like that. I don't want to pay for something now, and then three months later, mm, that that's any indie brand. Like, to me, if you post it on the fucking shit that you're selling it, I expect you already have that shit made and ready to ship. <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> Not three months from now. And that's where I, I, you know, I haven't ordered anything from them. Her stuff looks beautiful, but I'm just saying any indie brand, I don't know you and you expect me to give you, even if I spent a hundred dollars and then I got to possibly wait three months and then fight with fucking PayPal possibly of where's my order. And yeah, I'll just, I'll find another one. I'm on the Urban Decay PR list. I didn't get it. It's all, um, from what I understand with that palette, it's more like topper shades. It's not just eyeshadows. I don't think there's a matte eyeshadow on the palette. I think it's all like shimmers and toppers. There might be one or two mattes in it. Because I follow, um, Steve, who works for Urban Decay, it's like UD Steve UK. And he literally took like one orangey looking shade. Oh, my laptop's probably dead down here. He put one shade in the crease and then the other two he applied with his finger. So he had like one shade here and then the other shade, you know, here. He only used three shades and it was just a beautiful, simple look. But there wasn't many mattes in that palette. It was all definitely kind of topper shades i want to say topper shimmer metallic i've heard that too that the patrick star loose powder is nice yay marcia got almost all the pinky rose palettes they make nice eyeshadows very nice ladies too Oh, yeah. Bunny Girl. We were the one we were talking about at depth. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have to wait once, but I bought a bunch of single shadows. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Let me see what's right over here. It blows my mind that I have all this fucking shit and I can still pop out shit in a second. Like, I know where it is. I do buy their palettes. This is just, again, an adept magnetic palette. Does have a mirror. And these are the single shadows that I have. And like I said, I didn't have to wait months for any of this. So when I bought it, it was in stock. But I don't have any of the palettes. I would love to fill this whole palette, though, with other shades. But they were beautiful. But she just does them by numbers, too. So this is like ACS3. I mean, these are beautiful shades. Uh, ACS 29. And look at that fucking blue and green. It's right up my alley. What do you see? This burnt coppery orange. Oh my God, this fucking shade is beautiful. Uh, ACS 7. banging one now this is one that looks white but it's technically green this is acd nine okay. yeah, let's really see let's see how good they are look at that fucking blue. how 
green, that coppery orange. Oh, you can't see the green. Okay, because this looks white in the pan, but it does shift to that light minty green. I mean, they're fucking gorgeous. But maybe back, maybe she's like changed her ways. Because, you know, I have some mats. I have that bright blue mat, pink mat, baby pink mat, matte green. But, you know me, I buy basically like metallics. I mean, this fucking gold, like, holy shit. And I think this is more of a topper shade, too. ACD3. Yeah, this is more of a... You can see it's a little translucent. Ah. Yeah. But beautiful shadows, but I never had to wait months for them. <laughs> But I think, like, I think you're right. I think she might have been doing pre-orders. Since I've ordered from Adept in the past, and like I said, I have more of their empty palettes than I do of the shadows. I would, um, wait for them. I would have no problem waiting for the Adept ones. Because, I mean, look at these fucking things. Beautiful. Beautiful products. Yeah, you can hold off on it. You can hold off on any of them. And the Ace Beauty palettes and Violet Voss, those are very nice also. Yeah, the Pat McGrath, she makes nice shadows, but her fucking prices are just murderous. There's a small sample in one of the Trend Mood boxes. Keratin shampoo? I might, yeah, I'm sure I do. If it was in a Trend Mood box, I have it. Yeah, because right now, powder wise, I still have my Urban Decay one open, the Marc Jacobs, and the Tatcha one. I still have that brand new La Rock, and oh god, I have so many of them. I have a shitload of Laura Mercier. Yeah, definitely boxy is totally worth getting your skincare from. Damn. I ain't even with TJ Maxx and Marshall's prices. <laughs> That's why I couldn't help buying another Glam Glow. It was twelve fucking dollars. I know that it's a full size. The full size jar is sixty fucking dollars. It was twelve. I, I go, holy fuck, but at that, and one of them, remember, I had to order two one-ounce tubes. What actually ended up cheaper than the other way they had it. This so it was just like, well, fuck it, give me two of the tubes, because on the little jars, I even bought direct from Glam Glow. They had a killer sale, 50 or 60% off. Like a the three-ounce squeezy tube of, it's orange. It's like the clearing mask, one of those, or one of the masks. I use them all. So I, I'm getting down on the empties. You'll see in the empties video of those jars. I'm just going to take this fucking, you know, the squeezy tube and refill the jar. So I don't have to keep opening the tube and letting air in it. I can just like fill it halfway with the stuff and then use it down, then keep refilling the jars. Doing my own like in-home recycling. <laughs> Yeah, some of these small companies, don't forget, like Gimme Glow, all them, they went from do to do to through the roof. Because once people start finding out, like, holy shit, these are pigmented and the prices are decent, that's where you go to the indie brands. I know the multi chrome palette. That's where, where that multi chrome palette would have been. With the B Bell Cosmetics or It's Bell Cosmetics, it was like all duo chromes. But her prices were still really decent. I swear it was like a nine pan. And I want to say it was less. 
Was one of them $42? One was maybe $28? Something like that. Because <clears throat> you know me, if the fucking palette has a bunch of glitters, I'm not going to buy it. Just because I'm not... Even if the palette has, say, nine, but there's three glitters, <clears throat> I'm not going to buy it because I don't want the glitters. Yeah, I don't want to wait three months for a palette either. Like, Gimme Glow Indie palettes are fabulous. Adept good products. You didn't miss much, Lou. I... Maybe I didn't get that from Mood Box? Because in the Trend Mood Box, I definitely got the Tatcha. Don't forget, I don't buy every Trend Mood Box. I got the Tatcha in one of the Trend Mood Boxes. The Silk Powder. It is really fucking nice. I skip the occasional Trend Mood Box. And, I, and I've heard those Glam Light palettes. Those are the ones that make like the hamburgers and all that where it's kind of like fun. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. I love the Glam Glow. I've been using that for years. Uh, all the Glam Glows are 60. <laughs> Any of them that are in like the little jar. Because I use the black one, the blue one. The blue is moisturizing. That's one I almost wear as like a sleeping mask. You can put on like a thicker layer of that one. And then like tissue it off if you wanted to to leave a little residue. I just don't pile it on. But I put enough where... It's moisturized, and I just leave it the fuck on by the time. That's why sometimes I think my hair will look all greasy <laughs> at the edges. It's because, you know, I'm getting all the skincare up in there. Alien Cosmetics. I want to say yes. I don't want to say no, because I don't know. Oh. Okay. No. <laughs> I knew I had something that had a similar name, that's why. Um this is called Space Case. I think these were from Ipsy, possibly. But Alien, I do follow them. Yeah, this is just like a... But these were like nothing to write home about. It's not bad, but it's not the best. It has like color pop packaging. Fucking hate because it's pain in the balls. And I probably just wanted to tear them apart into singles. It's a peachy shade. So no, I don't have any alien, but they are on the they're on the watch list, put it that way. I do have the okay, I do have the Patrick Star primer, which is nice. Okay, see, Bunny Girl knows. 27 to 29, and they're all duochromes. Okay. I just ain't waiting three months for them. I did see that Pearly Gates, but I don't like loose products. <laughs> I love Laura. Hold my beer. And see, I didn't have it for once. And I have not tried Odin Dye yet either. They look nice. The newest palettes they just released, unfortunately, with Annette and the other two girls, I think there was like pressed glitters or not even Annette's palette. It's very pretty, but too much glitter. I, I'm, I fucking am not a glitter person. I own it, but I hate fucking wearing it. I just jump out of the fucking chair. <laughs> it's 
fucking makeup forever. It's just mm, making me fire crazy. Stay. <laughs> Jeez, we haven't had any cat fights. It's been fucking quiet down here. Quiet night. Oh, I did get. I was shocked when I got it. This shit's upstairs from Macy's. I posted that today too. A little tart palette called Play Something. It's got six shadows in it. So it almost, you would, you automatically think in your head Natasha Denona five pan. But it's actually a six pan palette. And of course, I laughed. I go, the outside package. <laughs> does not match the fucking colors inside. Look at the outside packaging. You're like, oh, I think it might be more on the pink side. And they open it. And it technically is all just a brown kind of, you know, cream shade, neutral palette. But I got to give it to, and I'll show you when we pull off the palette when I do a little Macy's thing, of the two shades that are all next to each other. Like, you know me, I do a lot of quick looks of one shade in the crease, one shade on the lid, and you can be done. Simple and easy. And the way the palette lays out is like, all six of those shades, you can literally fucking use them of any shade in the crease, any shade on the lid. There's the light enough shade for the brow bone, and there's a deeper, it's just like a brown, deeper brown shade, you know, to deepen things up. But I'm like, that is one little fucking palette, six pans. That you can literally take on vacation or if you needed something just keep in your bag for like quick looks. They nailed it. I mean the little color story just it all plays perfectly together. For a total basic palette I was shocked. Because I of course grabbed it at Macy's when I had like my $5 card. Because I did repurchase my other Shiseido eyeliner. What the hell did I grab? The Shiseido? that what the hell did I buy I bought three items they're in there there are so many brands Laura I don't even know how the fuck I keep up with them the best well I'll say I don't use pressed glitter the best glitter the only glitter that I actually will use on my eyes hold on Mine's probably all old and I can't use them anymore anyway, but I'm keeping them. Ow. Like if I was in my 20s and we weren't in a fucking pandemic, I'd be rocking these glitters all the time. These are Lemonhead LA. They're pricey. Don't get me wrong. They're all handmade, totally vegan, cruelty-free. This one's pretty cool. This one's called Space Paste, and it's called Houdini. If these aren't totally dried out, I'll be shocked. Okay, they're getting really thick. <laughs> yeah, I have plenty of videos on these. Let's see this. So this is, is technically a glitter, but it pulls purple it has a clear base see how you can't see it though so that's why it's like called Houdini because like it's gone <gasps> but it's there <laughs> these are badass I safe obviously but you can use them anywhere you want on your body but these are the one glitter I find of when I go to take it off I don't find glitter on the rest of my body for the next fucking month or in my hair or <laughs> days later of somewhere. And I'm pretty sure all like their little flakes are like not going to fuck up the ocean and all that. But this Houdini shade has always been one of my favorites because it looks like it goes from something to nothing because <laughs> it has the clear base to it. Did I just watch the other one? Oh, missed the purple one. This one's called Violet Hour. And you always do keep the little stoppery thing in here. These are old. But again. And I usually just use like a little rubber kind of applicator to apply it. Yeah, it would never go on this shitty. This is old. 
Yeah, that would never apply that crappily. <laughs> but ColourPop tried to dupe them. When ColourPop came out with these like glitters in the jar, they were trying to, they tried, it was even proven that Lemonhead put up a post where, <laughs> this shows how stupid people are. Some dipshit from ColourPop went on Lemonhead and bought like everything and sent it right to the ColourPop fucking company. And Lemonhead's like, fuck you. <laughs> Good luck for their formula. <laughs> But how stupid. I mean, you're going to try to dupe somebody else's formula. At least have your employee, like, send it to her house. Don't send it to, like, ColourPop headquarters. Because <laughs> they're from L.A. They know where shit is in Cali. But these, yeah, the vasculars. They dry down, and they will, they're never bothered my eyes. Oh, so good. Other glitters I fucking hate. I tore off all my nails. Oh my god, what a nightmare. They just started popping off, so I'm sitting there. Finally got to see Gina. I haven't seen my Gina in like weeks. She's still having now Gina had COVID. And she's still having after effects of feeling um like worn out real quickly. She doesn't have like her pep in her step as she likes to call it. The fucking fly. Still a little bit of no taste the last time I talked to her. It's been rough, and it's been like a month. Fucking crazy. That's why I'm like, I do not want COVID. And Gina's very healthy. Vegan, exercises every day. Takes, you know, takes really goddamn good care of herself and still got knocked down her ass by it. I'm like, I can only imagine me. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want pressed glitters on any of my eyeshadow palettes. I agree. And Kaleidos, this is another one I've been watching, too. That's where on Indie Brands, you got to hope to hell it is wrapped really good. Like Sydney Grace, she makes beautiful products also. Just fantastic products. And it's always packaged beautifully. And give me glow packages incredibly, too. So does Clarity. Marsha's got a favorite Nabla palette, the Platinum palette. I think I have a couple of their little ones. I got those in the, um, excuse me, trend mood box. Yeah, check out, yeah, Lemonhead LA. They have so many colors and, and they give back to the community. It's literally like, you know, one girl, one or two girls making the product. But yeah, if, if you do the Lemonhead search thing, or check my indie brands playlist. They're in there. Because they even showed up at um, the makeup show or IMAX before COVID hell took over everything. You should be able to buy the Lemonhead. Yep, just Google Lemonhead LA. I have a couple of the little Navajo palettes. Clarity has nice products too. And Luxi, L O O X I, they make beautiful products. Um, Davina Cosmetics, she makes gorgeous products. Well, Vanessa Myricks, whew. holy shit. And she's at um, Sephora now. I have a whole bag of her stuff too, I still gotta play with. Definitely gonna have to wash this towel again. It's gonna have a little bit of glitter on it. Yeah, the lemon head's only made with like marshmallow root extract or something. And I'm like, okay. But it's definitely my favorite glitter. If I have to wear glitter, it's gonna be lemon head. And I've had those for over two years. 
And you can see I was still able to get like a swatch out. And I, of course, have glitter all over me because that's my fault. There we go. Urban Decay is still holding on. <laughs> Once I actually get upstairs, I'll gotta wash you again. You gotta go over there. Ah, <laughs> oh, the twin flames are so good. We have four of them right here. Do you, need, do you want to watch them? I have four of them. I might have more. <laughs> this is passion. Sometimes on here it depends with the lighting. If you can see the shifts. See, because in my mirror here, it looks bright greenish gold. On camera, it looks purple <laughs> or lilac. You should be able to see the three colors right there. Green on the edge, pinky purple in the middle, and the gold at the top. You see what I'm talking about? There, there, there. These are awesome. These I like to put over, and I've done it on here one of the like the nyx any kind of black eyeshadow base just a black base and i'll bring that sucker all the way up to where i would normally bring like my crease shade and then i just slather this all over because to me i'm gonna rock this i have hooded eyes you ain't gonna see shit unless i stand around like this so but once i have the black base on it makes a hell of a difference this one should go blue green Purple, maybe I think this one's crazy for you some of these I have the hardest time reading them sometimes you can see it on the wand okay so you can see that's like lime green <laughs> okay so it's going to like a yellow orange that is lime fucking green bright bright green I mean, I can just see it's raging green. Ah, Young Love. Let's see what we got right here. This one's definitely on the pink side, pinky purple. Let's see if we can grab the shift on that one. What color does this go to? This has multicolored pink and baby blue in it. So this is going to go blue, pink. Okay, you might be able to see a little bit of the blue there. They definitely fucking shift, though. I should put a black base down, but yeah, I'm too stupid for that. And then this one is Lust. So here when I look at it, it looks like a bright flaming orange shade. And if I look at it over here, it's gold. <laughs> like a deep golden color. It definitely goes more in the orange. And if you put a mirror next to it, you can see it too. Oh, Brenda, you're a fucking moron. Hang on. Yeah, where's the mirror? I'm trying to make you see it so I can see it. Yeah. It does switch though. Yeah, these are awesome. Totally worth it. And her fucking highlighter palette is banging. You get a ton of fucking product from that. Ton of product. Oh, don't fall over. Don't fall over. My shoulder's killing me. Oh, that just popped. 
Okay. We're coming up on our three hours. Yeah, these are insane. <laughs> Ah, uh, black bases, either, I usually, uh, la, 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 la. I just even use these NYX jumbo pencils. Any black cream eyeshadow you have that, like, sets down. I think I bought one. Oh, did I show you the Danessa? I think I did. I am so fucking behind on orders. Well, my luck, I'll have the fucking bag here and let the shit away in it. Got a bag full of boxes. Where's the fucking makeup? God. Oh, here it is. If you follow Danessa, you know she's a hell of a makeup artist. So she makes a lot of things that are multi-use. So I have her little blush, lips, eyes. Her packaging is always hard to read, though. These are called Vision Flush. Now, I did buy an eyeshadow base of hers. And stupidly, I only bought the, um, the clear one. I don't know why the hell I didn't buy the black one. And then I have her liquid eyeliners also. Oh, I got another Twin Flames. There's another one in here. The hell's bitch to read on the bottom of these little fuckers. Amore. Amore. This one, this one I think goes blue. Yep. <laughs> it's purple blue. So yeah, so if I have it in this mirror, it looks lavender. There, it looks bright blue. So don't forget, with these, you can mix them. What the hell do you want with them? And then she has these little cream suckers here. These are called Color Fix Creams. So some are like metallic, some are more shimmer. So I have just like this pink one, the coppery one. I guess I love it. This shade against my hazel eyes. Make some pop. This is a duo chrome. I keep freaking my camera out. Ah, uh, this is the color fix foils. So this one goes like pink to copper. This is just a matte hot pink, which I've blown all over the eye into the crease and then topped it with like one of these, which is a foil. Again, we're after a whole separate video on those though. And then she has the face bomb too. It's called Dew Wet Bomb. And this is the excuse me, shade Holy Water. Again, looks like nothing, but this has a ah, you can see it there. Purple. What you know I me? Mean? I have a thing about purple lavendery. It's hard to see. But again, you can use this. You know, as a highlighter base. Danessa's stuff is cool. Because that's what makeup artists do. They work with what the fuck they have on the fly. That's why they always have like mixing mediums. Like a Duraline. Anything like that. But I'm finding her cushion liners. And they are waterproof. These little cushion liners. Obviously it's a liquid. But you, you can use it with, you know, just a little tiny eyeliner brush. I would tend to probably use something a little more like a bent. Every girl should have one of these. A bent eyeliner brush. Just gives you better control. But these actually do work on the waterline. And if you've watched my Get Ready With Me, you'll see I dry my waterline. This I would already have to have on the brush, dry the waterline, and then paint this on. And even, it's a little liquidy. But at the same time, I can let it dry and throw another layer on if I wanted to. Just like... These KVD Beauty ones. So I have the purple, the blue, and the green. 
but also the NYX. Theirs works pretty damn well, too. The Vivid Brights. Well, this one's dried up already. Okay. Is that already dried? You fucker. Oh, no, it's still pulling out. You can see it's cracked around the whole fucking center there. But it still came out on the brush. It's still dry as hell, though. But this is where you grab Duraline, put a little Duraline in it, bring it back to life. And then I just have some empty jars. This used to have like some freedom makeup in it. Makeup in it. Because I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I do want to mix the blue and the purple of the KVD together to make my own blurple color. And these last on the waterline too. Just gel liners are a pain in the ass to put in the morning. But sometimes again, you need to put like two layers. But they work very, very well. But I like Danessa. She does some crazy ass looks. And even her, she has killer sales. Wait till she does the sale of, what does she normally do? 40% I want to say. Like, you ain't getting me out of bed for like 10%, even 15%. No, 20% even. I'm like, mm, get 20% all day long. But when brands do 40, 50, 60%, that's when I fucking pounce. Jump on there. Fucking buy it. Buy it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, we're going to be playing with all this, though. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually with everything that's over here. Ow. Owsy. With the Danessa, yeah, I'll do some more looks on them. Don't worry. I was watching the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames. You're welcome. Yeah, even a black eyeliner. Exactly, Angela. Yeah, for a black base on your eyeliner, for an eye, for especially for like dual chromes, it is best to have a black base. Because they do pop better over a black base. I didn't even think. Just regular eyeliner. I don't wear a lot of black eyeliner. I only tight line with it. But if you have a black eyeliner, I wouldn't necessarily do liquid. But I would stay with like just one that's creamy enough. Just to give you that black base. Definitely an eyeliner. They dry down. All this dries down. <laughs> That's why it actually works on the waterline, too. Because even that cushion, like I said, it's very liquidy. It dries. So it's just I have to just be careful just because you want to flood your eye with color. I did that haul probably two, three months ago. Don't forget, holidays are coming, so everybody's going to have a fucking sale at one point or another. Or after Christmas sale, that's when I buy the shit. Have a good night, Teresa. Mwah. Thanks for showing up, girl. The magnetic lashes do work. Absolutely. And I have a whole shitload. Well, I have a whole video on that, too. We I bought fucking shitloads of them. Um, magnetic liner. Literally fucking Amazon. Like eight bucks. That one actually still has some in it. One of them was dried up. I have another one looks like a Pat McGrath tube. I think this one was dried up. Yeah, this one's dried out. And I just keep mine in a Z palette just because it's easier. But since they magnetize, you know, to the Z palette, I think it's a stupid way to keep them. But the magnetic lashes, they fucking work. Definitely work. And this is my girlfriend. Um, she has any who's. Everybody has, you know, regular lashes. And of course, I was like, oh yeah, I'll start wearing them in the morning. And then I never fucking, I always forget in the morning. But the magnetic lashes do actually work. It's shocking. It's best to find the ones that have five magnets across it. So then you can cut them down. Because I found if you have three magnets, most lashes are way too long. You need to trim them on the inside and the outside. 
Well, if you only have three magnets, one at the outside, one at the inside, one at the outside, you're fucked. <laughs> you can only trim, you know, one way. So some have five magnets, which is better. And perfect. But they work. I've bought the cheap ones off Amazon. I've even gotten in like the Lily Lashes and BoxyCharm or some shit, which are, oh, and any magnetic fucking liner you want works. You don't have to buy the fucking ones that are $20 off. I don't know when all the sales are. I don't track them. They just pop the fuck up. But I know they have sales. Everybody always has sales. They actually do like them, the magnetic ones. You could trim the ones that have definitely five magnets. Well, you could trim them, but it's not going to hold on once you're missing the magnet. <laughs> yeah, regular lashes. That's where people rip out all their lashes. <laughs> Putting on regular lashes is a fucking nightmare. And once you do it enough times, it's like anything. You just have to fucking practice, practice, practice. First, it's making sure, like, does the lash fit my eye? You know, what style lash? Because as you see, there's 10,000 styles of lashes. Like some people bring it all the way in. I don't like to bring it all the way in. Because then sometimes it's bugging my eye. So I'm trying to keep mine a little farther. Some just put some wispies or whatever. You know, they'll cut the lash. Especially if you're using glue, you can cut it any size you want. And they'll put it just where like a little extra on the outside here. Like flare it out. To make like an optical illusion again. Yeah, to, to me, because they were just magnetized, and I went, fuck it. Put them in the Z palette, and I keep them together. Because <laughs> my girlfriend, Gina, she bought one of them where, where they were, like, ridiculously expensive. You know, I don't know which brand it was, though. They're in here, though. They were big and fluffy fuckers. <laughs> You see the magnets? There's like one, two, three, four, five. So at least with the five magnets, you know, this fits my eye though, the way it is. And I don't know if I have any of them three. That has five. What's this got? One, two. This one looks like it has five. I probably like, ditched most of the threes because I couldn't cut them down. Use this out. One, two, some have four. So see, even on this one, it has like there's one there, two, three, four. So say I need to cut off this corner, like right to this next magnet. I could take off like a good quarter of this and leave it just to have, you know, this part on here. I mean, you always kind of want it out to the edge though. But that's at least when it has more magnets, you can cut it to size better. I'm pretty sure I ditched all the ones I had three because I was like, shit, I can't cut them. And if they were too long, I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with them? These had to be the ones Gina had gotten in because they're huge. But again, it's just, you know, that's a crazy looking lash, obviously. But the magnets, they actually work. Son of a bitch is actually, hold on, I can't believe it. I think I put them on and then went up and intentionally, like, took a blow dryer and, like, blow dried my hair real quick to see if it would blow off and they actually stayed on. I was like, okay. But there's so many brands with magnetic lashes now. This is the Brenda QVC Shopping Network, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Marsha got the Fruitcake Too Faced Mini Palette. 27 bucks, same colors as every other Too Faced palette. I fucking believe that.
Yeah, sometimes you want them big old lashes. <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, you know what I'm going to end up fucking buying it just because I'm a photographer. That fucking highlighter where it's, it's a picture of the puppy when you look at it one way. And then, see, they pulled shots like I do. You, But on my Instagram, you'll see I'll pull a shot. Even the latest Natasha Denona. If I can get the light right, it's Mother Nature. You can actually see the shift in the mirror of what the fucking highlighter is. So with that two-faced one, you've had to have seen it. It looks like just a bunch of lines. So when you're looking at the palette, it should look like the little pup, puppy's face. Clover, is that his fucking name? But then if you look in the mirror, it says two-faced. So what it is, is the ridges. It's an optical illusion. So when you're looking at it this way, it's going to look like Clover. Now when it's reading the back side of the the way the lines are striated in it that's where you're going to see the two-faced you know i'm gonna have to buy that fucker just to photograph it just to fucking photograph it because i'm curious of does that go all the way through or as soon as you hit that fucker with a brush is is it all destroyed because i haven't seen anybody swatch any of that yet because I'm almost curious of what it, if, I don't know if it's launched, so, but I almost want to buy two. <laughs> I just go, one to photograph, and then one, I want to see what the fuck happens. Because I know I can get some cool pictures with it. Without a doubt. Because it does look neat. Of, oh, you got the little puppy dog or whatever on this fucking side, but in the mirror it looks like two-faced. It's a pretty cool item. At, we're, the market is so inundated with makeup. Yeah, I agree. Everything starts to look the fucking same after a while. Especially holiday stuff. Same shit, different year. It's like, did I need those Lorac palettes? No. Do I like the Lorac formula? Yeah. <laughs> were they half off? Yeah. <laughs> But I'm also giving them as gifts too, like I said. So there's my other, there's my other brush I was looking for, my other little chikahodo. Yeah, so definitely the next palette I'll be buying is Wayne's. Got to port my man Wayne. The only other palette I don't have of his is the second one, which is shocking because it has that blue shade. But I was just like I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And it's still, you got to figure, only October. Oh, well, September. October. So they'll be, they're always slamming shit down our fucking face every goddamn week, every damn day of, here's another lipstick, here's another red lipstick, here's another red lipstick. That's why. Fucking cats, man, you guys are useless. And he blew, he didn't get him. All right, one more smoke and we will wrap this up so I can... We'll take all this shit off my face. And then go lay down and be up for like the next three hours. Yeah, well, tart. I mean, there's stuff. I love tart, but it always, oh, battery. We're already down to 15. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to make it much further. <laughs> I didn't start out at 100%, though. It was down to like 85 we know on here we get three hours of filming, live filming time with this camera or with this phone. Oh, yes. Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx Online, all them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Overstock. Yeah, I try to be good. But that's why I was like excited like when the beauty bakery was half off. I was like, okay, cool. And these are actually really pretty. Glad I grabbed them. Even that Jacqueline. I, I necessarily wouldn't have paid full price for any of those. Am I glad I have my collection now? Sure. They're actually very pretty. They're just very fucking heavy and actually bulky as fuck. And I don't know where the fuck I'm going to put them because they are so bulky. I was like, we need to... I know this drawer is going to... Let me kind of clear this one out. A little empty. Got a little nude stick in here. A little Beth Bender Beauty. And you're wanting good highlighters too, as artist couture. I'm shaking you, I know. 
Mac Daddy. You know what I'm talking about? I have all his loose highlighters too. They're fucking beautiful. Look at that shit. Mm -hmm. But even his stuff's been ending up in boxy. Because I, that's where, I, where is it? It's over here somewhere. It's up here. It's up there. There we go. Oh, they're still farther up. There's a new little kitty cat one from Sugar Pill. Those are so cute. And then the ice cream cone from BH Cosmetics. Feel like the phone's gonna fall off the fucking. My goofy little tripod here. You're probably gonna get bent sideways. Trying to make even. <laughs> what other? Everybody into their pumpkin spice? Not me. At least that artist could tour. Yeah, he makes nice lip glosses too. He makes good products in general. I do little declutters, yeah. I've had a couple where I had to. It was like foundation declutter. I think it was that and like concealers or some shit. Or I bought a bunch of concealers recently. <laughs> I'm not even a big concealer person and I end up with like, what, 20 of them? During like the April 21 days of period. Everything was on sale. Like, why the fuck did I still buy all these fucking concealers? But I don't really use a lot of concealer. And even eyeshadow and all that. I'm not going to declutter most of this. I'm going to keep it. Some shit I actually collect. Yeah. We're all collectors at this point. <laughs> That's why Greg loves to go like, fire sale. It's all for sale. <laughs> sure, Greg. Bury me with this shit. <laughs> Need a fucking cargo container. Like, sir, which casket would you like? Dude, you got a cargo container? Because this bitch got a whole fucking room of makeup. It's got to go in the fucking box with her. <laughs> and even on decluttering makeup, the only shit you really need to get rid of, powder products, they fucking last. And cream products are the only thing. Like, you could see how it got hard, you know. Any kind of cream product can, it's going to be shot. That's from air getting in it, just like mascaras. Like we talked about last week, if you keep pulling that fucking wand in and out, you're pumping air into that tube. <laughs> no, but I'm glad I picked up more of these little Urban Decay things. I Sometimes I just like quick shit like this. Bam, slap a little bit on the lid, done. I like that novel though. Got a nice little drawer for him, just waiting for him. And Jacqueline, I'm very impressed. I may have to trade one of the palettes up though. I still need to try this kind of bronzer shade. I mean, this is very light. But I'm glad I ordered this one that's goddamn dark because. It's dark, but it ain't that dark. But God, these are heavy. Like, we got a little scale over here. I'm just going to throw one of the fucking highlights on it. Okay, is it so fucking heavy it won't even tell me how much this thing weighs? Are you shitting me? Okay, how about the little one? Yeah. The, with the packaging, this fucker weighs almost 37 grams. That's a little. <laughs> and there's two grams of product? Yeah. 
Two grams of product, but this packaging weighs 37 grams. Very heavy. And it's so heavy it's blowing out this one. I won't even calculate it. It's too heavy. Yeah, it goes over 50. I bought this for an eyeshadow I thought I, or a highlighter I thought I was getting fucked over. And that was from Sugar Drizzle. Sugar Drizzle has um duochromes too. They're the ones with the duochrome eyeliners. But those need to be put over a black face too. FYI. Good night, Angela. Thanks for showing up and playing with all of us. I hope you have a wonderful week too, darling. I agree, Marsha. We all have, I have hundreds of fucking lipsticks and with the fucking pandemic, man, it's like lip gloss, lip balm, basically, basically lip balm. Of the Jacqueline, yeah. But see, now that she was in the 21 days, don't forget. Holiday coming up. Maybe she'll have some deals on her site. Because like 50%, that's, and that's where I said I had to buy two. You know, because it's like, well, I bought one, and it's two for the price of one at that price deal. So it's like, that's where I buy two. And I would have bought, I would have did one fucking order if they had everything in the morning, and I was so out of it. You know, making sure, oh, I got the Rakuten points go in, and whenever I went into the 21 days, you know, right on that section, I was like, where the fuck are the blushes? Wasn't there supposed to be minis? I'm like, I didn't even think to go to her page. And they were probably on there, but to me, it's like, fuck you, Ulta. They should have been in the section right there to shop. I didn't need to go to her page to go find the goddamn blushes. So I was laughing at one order at 7 o'clock in the morning and the other one when I came home. But I could have just made, and if I did one big fucking order of all of it, that's where I probably would have used more points and got all that shit for free again. Oh, fuck. Again, it's a points game. Oh, where everything goes on sale. But I, I give it to her on that. I don't know if I'd buy it lipstick for her. And then I know Wayne Goss is supposed to be also coming out with complexion products. And he kind of hinted in his videos of powder. I think he's doing concealer and foundation. I'm like, holy fucking shit. But again, Wayne is a makeup artist. Let's see what he's got. Because that's an expensive fucking Wayne self funds himself. That's an expensive um, adventure to pull concealers, foundations, and powders. Especially foundations. I mean, you know how it is now. Even 40, 50 shades. I still can't find a fucking shade that matches me. It's like, come on. Exactly. See, bunny girl, good girl. You wait and you use 20% off when you can do it on Prestige or anything at Ulta. Hit them with a gift card. Hit them with your points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably one of the only things, yeah, Christmas-wise, I definitely want. Do I need it? No. That uh, Charlotte Tilbury, that face palette. The 4-1, where it's a big face palette. Oh, fuck, it looks so nice. I had a couple things. See, because I, I have to be careful. Like, I have to, because I know I'm a pain in the ass to buy for, for, like, Christmas and shit. So it's almost one of those where I go, okay, Gina, here, I'll give you three items and... You know, if you get one, let me know, or and I won't buy them. Because even, see, Gina owns a lot of shit, too, but I kind of know her collection. So, you know, right now, Gina's birthday is in November, and that's why I was buying her the Lorac palettes, and she knows it. Because I said, do you plan on buying those Lorac palettes? She's like, well, I was thinking about it. I'm like, don't think about it. I'm going to get them for your birthday. She's like, friend, it's September. My birthday is in November. I'm like, early shopping. So her stuff is put aside. She has a nice little stack of stuff. I actually got a nice little goodie I've been... I can't show you girls yet because I haven't... One of them's Regina. And it's like one of those... It's a little bougie, but I'm like, eh, it was a sale. And 
fought it at QBC for a good deal, and I fucking like it. And I'm like, fuck, they better put this shit on sale again, but we will talk about that in the future, don't worry. I'm still testing it. I've only used it like three times, but so far I'm like, fuck. Yep. Uh, Lily, I remember when Wayne, he explained that whole thing about all his money getting fucking stolen, and that's where people with management companies and all that. And that's Beautylish stepped in and helped Wayne out, I think, with a lot. But he does make fabulous brushes. I mean, they are some, they're, I mean, this is just a little bit of Wayne's brushes that I have. He has his own fucking drawer. I mean, you do pay good money for these. Sonia G, anything like that. I have a couple Sonias in here, too. The little Chickahotos. I will have these brushes till the day I fucking die. Literally. They'll throw them in the fucking cast. Do act, Make sure the bitch does my makeup with them. And then throws them in the fucking casket with me. <laughs> but that's why I always like getting, like, the Beautylish, um... The New Year's box they do. It's literally like the day after Christmas. What's it called? The Beautylish? It's always a Japanese name or something. But it's like their beauty box where you don't know what the fuck you're getting. And that's a chance for me with Beautylish too. Because I've gotten some doubles, but that's okay. But I also pull the game of, because now they offer a light medium box and then a medium deep box. As soon as I get the email... I buy the medium deep box. I send it to Gina. She buys the light medium box. I buy the dark medium. She buys the light medium. I give her the $90 and ends up being wherever the fuck it is. And then I have both sets of boxes to see. So we can compare them side by side. So you'll see those in, they'd be like in January's somewhere around. But I've been buying those for years. But it's like a mystery box. But that's where you can get. Lily, Wayne, Sonia G, Jeffree Star, Natasha Denona. I mean, you can get all kinds of shit in there. They always throw in usually some good molecules because that's through Beautylish. Sometimes some Holly Frog. But I love that box. Oh, I think Wayne took that video down. I don't know. I've never deleted a video, so I, but I know you can't do it because I know people delete them. I love Wayne's videos. Because he does makeup old school. And Wayne, people, that's where they forget, like, Wayne, if Wayne Goss <laughs> dropped a palette like this, I'd fucking pass out. It's not Wayne. Wayne wants women to just enhance your natural beauty. Wayne is more, keep your skin looking like skin. and But that's all you need sometimes. I just like to have fun with colorful makeup. So that's why I walk out of here looking like a lunatic on certain days going to work with crazy ass eyeshadow. But on normal days, yeah, I just want something like, you know, literally pencil on the eye, little eyeliner, some mascara, done. Keep it simple. I won't buy Jeffrey's shit anymore. <laughs> His stuff. I'm not big on his eyeshadow formula. I, of course, everybody's going to claim their formula is the best, and I know he claims his shit's the best. The only thing I do like a Jeffries, I got two of them right here. His lip, his regular lipsticks were all right. His liquid ones, pretty decent. I do like the Supreme Frost formula. This is hypothermia. I don't like his other highlighters. These are very glittery, but I don't give a fuck about that. But he just has some cool colors in these. But the other formula got all, um, like, fucking hard pan on me. I was like, what the hell? And then I have a peach one. Frozen peach. So this is the Supreme Frost. But yeah, I'm not impressed by his um, eyeshadow formula. It's just fucking eyeshadow. But of course he claims... His shit's the best. And, yeah. But I have a couple of his palettes, and I've gotten them in the Beautylish boxes. I mean, to me, great highlighter. Like, Smashbox, Vlada, still one of my fucking favorites. I mean, I've destroyed that heart. <laughs> or the rose in the center here. And again, this switches colors from gold to pink. This is one of my favorite. I have three of these. 
I have backups. But that's one of my favorites. I've been using that for years. And then um, another damn good one is Benefit Cookie. Or Tickle. Tickle. Cookie's nice too, though. I remember when I bought the big palette and this shade was in it. This is Tickle. This, again, is just a pinky golden shade. It's almost like the Smashbox Vlada. But I'll never forget when I first swatched it. Because it was in just the big palette. And as soon as it hit my hand, I was just like, holy shit, people are going to lose their fucking minds with this highlighter. They better make this, like, in its own. And they did. Because <laughs> it is fucking beautiful. Gorgeous highlighter. And another amazing highlighters are on Ofra. Ofra makes beautiful highlighters. But again, they're very expensive. Wait till that shit's on sale. <laughs> and don't forget, always watch your TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all them. All kinds of shit in there. They even have Christian fucking Louboutin on TJ Maxx online. For like one of his lippies, and I, normally it's like 90. And even on TJ Max, it's still like 60. I'm like, you still ain't getting my money. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Ow. Okay, well, we are at three hours, ladies. I know this phone's gonna die any fucking minute because it warned me a while ago and I'm still under. Well, of course, he's trying to get money. Anybody who sells makeup is gonna try to make money. I love that highlighter from Smashbox. Kaleidos does have some beautiful highlighters, they look like. And I love Becca highlighters. Poor Becca's going to be gone. But not gone totally. Don't forget, there are going to be some Becca products. And it might just be the under eye correctors. Or the setting powder, possibly. And possibly just Champagne Bob. <laughs> but over at Smashbox. So if you're looking for certain Becca products, they are going to be through Smashbox, which is weird. And you're welcome, Laura. Yeah, I agree. The highlighters are pretty, but they do have like that weird individual packaging, which I fucking hate individual packaging. But again, they look like baked highlighters. Like That's the only problem, again, with baked products like this. They, it's almost a fucking nightmare to, to pop them. Because it is a totally different formula. It's baked onto a tile. That's what could be making this so heavy. This does have a full-size mirror in it. That could be making it heavy. But these are... Oh, fuck. The phone's dying. And I am turning black here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I think you ladies can see me. All right, I am starting to black out here. <laughs> Oh, I hope you ladies can still see me. I'm like blacked out on my phone here. But yeah, the phone's dying, obviously. I don't know where the fucking cord is. But I will see you next week. Thanks for everyone for showing up. Mwah. I love all you ladies. We always have fun. And we'll see you next Saturday without a doubt. But you'll see me before then. I still have Ipsy to film for you too. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. All right, I'll see you all soon. I hope this camera doesn't die. I love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>